ಅನ್ಬು ಸರ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಅಡ್ಮಿಟ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಅನ್ಬು ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಬಿ ಲೈಟ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಮ್ಯೂಟ್ ಯರ್ ಆಡಿಯೋ Yes, I muted this, ma'am. Already I muted. Okay, Anbu sir, unmute yourself and start, sir. Yeah. Uh, just before start of the program, just one instruction to the participants. Uh, please mute your video and audio, except uh, invitees, guests. And uh, second thing, end of the session please don't forget to uh, download the feed where you have to fill the feedback form then only you will get the certificate e certificate this is a information to you all thank you good morning to everybody wish you happy 7th international yoga day celebration yoga does not transform the way we see things it transforms abai <laughs> sir unmute yourself sir this mute oh okay. yeah can you hear ma'am ah uh, yes yes yeah yeah good morning to everybody ma'am I'm mute panni solunga others please uh, layo 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 meet who is layo is please mute everybody Yes, sir. Unmute. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good morning to everybody. Wish you a happy 7th International Yoga Day celebration in this juncture. I love to say small quotes about yoga. Yoga does not transform the way we see things. It transforms the person who sees. So, proud to announce that our country is the pioneer yoga, pioneer country in yoga. that to origin from tamil nadu we proud to see here here i like to interlink yoga and ymca has a strong bond in it you may ask how yes it has it has a meaning yoga make a citizens of atlas that is world by unite body mind soul in oneness in the same way our college emblem ymca triangle equally divided and indicate equal spirit mind and body and outer circle uh mentioned for eternal perfection of an individual inner ring it's exposed for eternal friendship and love among us people so we 100 years old institution our motto also same by keeping young man service to the society like yogic way we proud to organize this program in an actable way in this juncture i would like to call dr j komala to welcome the gathering over to komala good morning on and all present here Uh, it gives me an immense pleasure to
uh, it gives me immense pleasure to start the aspire shakeshan by heartily welcoming everyone on behalf of ymc college of physical education board of management correspondent secretary principal administrator all the staff members and on my personal behalf i take the pleasure in proposing the welcome address of for this uh, seventh international day of yoga 2021 and one day international virtual conference on yogic practices for healthy life stars shines at night some stars shines at bright bright day and it is my pleasure to welcome such as the great star of physical education legendary professor dr am murthy former vice chancellor tn psu director of uh, sports medicine and yoga Sri Balaji Medical College and Hospital he is our honorable chief guest of today's function i welcome you sir uh, a man with great vision and mission an icon for hard work and my guru he is our guest of honor who is none other than professor dr r elangovan professor and head mahir university chennai who has crossed the boundaries of uh, excellence with his great spirit towards profession i welcome you sir i feel happy and grateful to welcome our international resource person yogacharya dr eva dayalan five times guinness world record holder director of uh, ua arizona wings private limited hong kong and former international badminton player such a dynamic and a multi talented person i welcome you sir i warmly welcome and respectfully welcome our uh, second session in yogacharya a resource person a uh, international resource person who is born in uh, up and currently i am the science doctor angel samat yoga teacher he is the person who introduced somatic yoga in ireland i welcome you sir i also welcome our correspondent secretary and mr benjamin franklin principal dr jaj abrahan uh, administrator mr raju jaj faculty members participants and invited guests from various universities and colleges i welcome you all last but not least i sincerely welcome all my student friends i welcome you all for this international virtual conference being held by oymc college of physical education chennai once again i welcome you all thank you over to dr konan bhuskar thank you komala ma'am for your valuable and hot touched welcome note now i call upon dr s kladi krabaga assistant professor to give brief introduction about the chief guest professor dr a m murthy former vc of tamil nadu physical education sports university sir please kladi sir unmute your video audio sir audio audio unmute yeah. thank you thank you dr anbu it gives me immense pleasure to introduce today's chief guest dr am muthi is a well known person in the field of physical education dr am muthi has served as a vice chancellor of tamil nadu physical education and sports university and uh, he was a former hod of aucb department of physical education and the former and founder principal of uh, kovilur andavar college He is having lots and lots pages and pages of profile. He is a, a well-known person, and about his yoga career, he has started a diploma courses at Allahabad University, and from diploma to PhD courses up to uh, in Kovilur and our college. And he established yoga therapy. He organized yoga camps, and he was a chief patron of International Yoga Day at Tamil Nadu uh, Physical Education University. And he has done so many major research projects in yoga. Uh, more than ten projects he has done, and he has done international projects with the Finland and New Zealand and USA also. And he has published so many books in yoga. and he has presented and published around 100 articles particularly on yoga sir we are very much happy to have you you are the uh, great great person in the field of physical education you not only succeeded in tamil nadu you are the only person who has 
uh, reached the higher level in Tamil Nadu and in North also. So the entire Indi India knows you very well. You are the outsta outstanding person. Sir, we are very much happy to have you. Now I request you to address the gathering around 300 persons in, you, uh, in uh, Zoom and around thousands of members are eagerly waiting to hear you, sir. I request Dr. A. M. Muthi to address the gathering. Sir, please. Thank you so much for your nice introduction. Good morning to everybody. First of all, pronoun to my teacher, Batmasri, late Dr. P. M. Joseph, and my guru, Yoga Guru, Swami Kolayananda from Lonavala. My dear friends, it gives me immense pleasure for me to address seventh international day of yoga, which I must thank our Prime Minister Narendra Singh <coughs> Modi, who made India is a proud all over the world. My dear friends, I would like to share you know, all the persons, the management, my students in the YMCA college and principal and organizing committee, all the people who are waiting for the thing. International Yoga Day, I'll give you some glimpse out of it. I'll give some, uh, especially a PDF, something, then I will talk to you. Uh, uh, PDF, putting it. Okay. Within a second, it will come. What is exactly yoga? And especially, I'm happy my best scholar, Dr. Langovan, has come as a special guest. He is also good. He will also do. Especially Professor Abraham, principal, I must thank. And he requested me, I have to be there because it is my college where I am there, which has given me this much stand. So it is a great. Now you see some of the slides. Which I am putting, please watch. This will be next. Yes. Now, please, just a minute. See, this yoga is very, very important. It is a way of life. It, it is not, any religion is not connected. So what we say, this yoga is, Patanjali says, it is nothing but, it is a body and mind, unification of the body mind. Simply I say, it is a way of life. What you are, what you are going to be, what you were. The yoga is for everybody. Each and every individual can practice yoga. Now, I, we have done a lot of experiments in our laboratory. This how this breathing, especially this pandemic time, how it reacts with the lungs. So our group of doctors and we self, we took some of the breathing pattern, especially Anuloma Viloma and Linga Mutra, which combined. We could see how this lung capacity, especially alveoli, how it reacts, how it changes, purified blood, how it goes to the heart, how the breathing will be a normal. The person, now we are doing it before, after, and doing rehabilitation measures also. We are doing, we are giving experimentally. We have got electrocardiograph, electroencephalograph, everything. Our scientists are doing here, microbiology, anatomy, especially. There are two persons are very important here. The research who does in my department, they are all orthopedic surgeons. Everybody is there. So they are doing it. It is wonderful. I hope this yoga is, you have to do go for the, especially for the research. Hello? Hello? Sir, I removed. You can continue. The disturbance is not now. You can continue, sir, please. Hello? Ah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Continue, sir, please. Can I continue it? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes. YMCA College is concerned, which brought me, which I studied, alumni of the school. And YMCA College has started the Yoga College also. They are going to shortly start. The management has to keen to start. I hope. They will give a lot of benefit 
out of it. My dear friends, the yoga is not for simply talking. What he has given, you know, very nicely they have given, but it has to be, see the, some of the slides, just I will show you. Next, next slide. Hmm. Next slide, quickly. Hello. Yes, the purpose of life is to lead to a happy life. Wealth is the very foundation of a happy life. Good health is achieved when there is a smooth flow of energy through the Susmura Nadi, central nervous system, which is located in the spine. Only five slides. Sir, please uh, unmute. Sir, please unmute. Can I? Yes. Professor, yes. The Surya Namaskar, the purification, neuromuscular coordination, cultivation of proper psychological attitude. Next. Next. Okay. Thank you. Because I know the time is very limited. I must thank once again the principal, the management, and organizing committee people, everybody. It is my great pleasure to thank Thank you so much for giving me this opportunity. Thank you, sir. Thank you. <clears throat> yeah. So, thank you, sir. It's a marvelous quotes and notes which you have given. It's a really wonderful and precious to us, sir. Thank you, sir, for your valuable chief guest address. Now, may I move to introduction of guest of honor. May I invite Dr. Abraham Davidson to give an introduction about our yoga guru, Professor, Dr. R. Ilangovan, sir. Sir, can I have you, please? David, sir. Thank you, sir. It's my pleasure to introduce uh, uh, Professor R. Ilangovan, sir. He's a professor and head faculty of yoga sciences and therapy, Meenakshi Academy of Higher Education and Research. It's a deemed university in Chennai. Sir is having 38 years of teaching experience in school, college, and universities in the field of yoga and physical education. She do have 32 years of experience in the same field in college and university, 15 years of experience as a professor in university. She has 32 years of experience as an administrative experience. She has administrative experience about 32 years and 17 years of research experience as a scientist, senior scientist which was approved by ICSSR, New Delhi. He had served as a member of VC Convener Committee, Financial Committee, Senate Member, Governing Board Member, Seating Committee Coordinator of NAC in, T in TNPSU, and he's an expert committee member in UGC. I'm happy to say that he's the first yoga professor to be appointed in the history of physical education or history of Tamil Nadu government universities. He's the first yoga professor to be appointed in deemed universities also. He's a question setter for net exams in yoga. He had acted as a member of jury in National Yoga Olympiad for four times. He's a member of assessment of yoga certificate board in the Ministry of Ayush, New Delhi. He's the instrumentation in starting yoga college in Tamil Nadu and yoga centers in many affiliated colleges. He has started MPhil and PhD programs in Tamil Nadu also. is an instrumental, instrumental in formation of our innovative programs in yoga in Tamil Nadu universities through distance mode also. He is the main one to sign MOU with various yoga institutions for TNPESU. He is a life member for Indian Yoga Association, New Delhi. He's a, he had visited China and Hong Kong twice for the academic purpose also. He's the advisor and former vice president of NAPS. He had authored six books, 300 articles, 192 scientific journals, and 260 papers in the international level. He had uh, done 45 TV and, uh, TV and radio programs. He had uh, uh, guided first PhD scholar, especially in yoga. He's the first approved PhD uh, 
he's a first PhD who, who was a assignment in a MKU, Madras uh, uh, Madurai Kamra University. He was honored with Best Teacher Award twice, Lifetime Achievement Award twice, Udar Kalvi Jeeva Jodi Award, and International Awards in Lions Club also. We are very happy to have you here, sir, in this platform on this special occasion. Thank you, sir. Good morning to one and all. Om Shahana Vavatu. Very good, sir. Yogunatu. My end class, sir. Yam Karavavate. Tejas Vinavadi Tamastu. Mavit Vishavahe. Om Shahana my first pronounce to Dr. A. Murthy, sir. I wish to express my sincere thanks for all for having given this opportunity. To the. Sir, unmute your video audio, sir. Elangovan, sir, unmute your audio, sir. Sir, Elangovan, sir. Adi, Adi. Ah, yes, sir. yes, sir. Please, participant, don't uh, switch on your thing. Be in a mute mode, sir. Please, sir. I wish to express my sincere thanks to all, particularly to the management and the architect of the YMCA College of Physical Education, Dr. George Abraham, the principal, and also Dr. Ponan Barasu and Dr. Komala and other members of the staff and others. It is my pleasant duty to express my thanks, very particularly pranam to our Dr. A. Murthy, sir. So it is a very nice August occasion, a great gathering. We wish you all the happiest International Day of Yoga today. If you want to say something about the main general concepts. We are finding alarming and apprehensive data related to health. If you divide or differentiate mind and body, though we are giving top priority mind, but health is the base for all. So if you see the health of the nation, India, it is alarming and apprehensive. At the outset, 55 thousands of diseases and disorders are in the world, according to World Health Organization. As far as India is concerned, two out of three deaths are because of non-communicable diseases. And also, 8.1 crore people are having diabetics. And 40% of the hypertensive people are in India. 97% of the diet patterns are not healthy. Only 3% are healthy. Among the three, we have to go for good dietary patterns. And 89% of the Indians are suffered in one way or other the stress. So these are all the alarming and apprehensive statements. You will be wondering to know only 9 crore people out of 137 crore people are having healthy consciousness. What about remaining? So that is the drawback. We are not giving importance to our human system and we are also not give, giving importance to our universe also. Universe and our human body both are made up of Panjabudas. Ours is the number one polluted country. 22 out of 30 cities in the world are from India. 25% of the drinking water we are wasting. At the global level, 1.3 tons of food we are wasting. So we are not respecting either the universal nature 
or we are not respecting our human nature we are against the concepts of nature then how can we have the improvement how can we become the number one country in the world and we are also not giving importance to physical activity also only 19% of the people they know what is what in exercises out of 19% only 10% are doing yogic practices 58% of the indians are non vegetarians 28 crore people are smokers every day in india 712 smokers are dying so if this is the status so we are not giving respect to physical activity we are not giving respect to food items plant diet is the need of the hour we are not giving importance to aerobic activities we are not giving that much importance to yoga and meditation because of the technological innovation we become aloof we are not mingling with others so these are all the conditions so in order to promote your lifestyle in order to make it as a global and glorious health you ought to concentrate on plant diet you ought to concentrate on physical exercises and you and walking particularly you ought to give importance to yoga and meditation you ought to give importance to social interrelationships you have to be non smoker so if you want to promote all these concepts in one umbrella you ought to go for yogic practices and meditation because jesus is very much fond of doing meditation even during night times he used to love to meditate he loves prayer he loves meditation they are the base of yogic practices so yoga yogic practices and meditation and also have plant diet if you follow these concepts definitely your quality of life will life will be improve our nation india will become one day or other the number one country so when you do yogic practices your genes are being perfected the genes producing the B proteins they will become per- perfected the proteins produce hormones they will be perfected the hormones produce blood vessels they will be perfected blood vessels will aid for having good metabolic and cellular health so these are all the plus points you are having your biological clock will be activated your neurotransmission will be activated these are all the major benefits of yogic practices meditation and the plant diet so you think over it and promote and not merely you know very well i know because you are all maximum physical education oriented person but the ignorance is with the society see one grocery shop owner he want to recruit assistants whoever he is recruiting they become experienced and they are starting their own shops in nearby area also so he got annoyed he wanted to recruit an assistant who is very much ignorant about anything at all so one day he asked all the aspirants many of them they have come for getting appointment get to become assistant what he had done you know he gave two 20 rupees notebooks to all not uh, notes rupees 20 rupees each note he has given two in number to all the uh, aspirants of that employment and he told you go and get sugar and salt for each 20 rupee note then immediately all went to buy salt and sugar only one person he was waiting he was anticipating he was waiting anxiously and he become worried the owner the owner asked 
Why are you standing here? Why can't you go and buy what I told? Then that boy asked him, Sir, I don't know. You tell me for which 20 rupee notebook I have to buy salt and which 20 rupee note I have to buy sugar. So immediately the grocery owner, he appointed the person because he knows very well that he is innocent. So that kind of innocence, we are in our miss regarding health promotion, mental promotion, social promotion, emotional promotion, total well-being. So in order to have that total well-being, in order to have that wellness, you ought to improve, you ought to include yoga, meditation and plant diet in your day-to-day -day life and let us prom the, promote the society. After getting all these things done, let us do service to the nation as done by Jesus. The mother's milk is not for mother, but for the child. The fruits given by trees are not for the trees, but for the society. The fragrance given by flowers is not for the flower, but for the humans. The same thing. Our life is not in our hands, our life should be for the welfare of the society. Let us completely devote ourselves to the service of the nation. Thank you. Thank you very much. Wish you all the best for your e-conference. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, Professor Dr. Ilangon, sir, narrated the yogic way of life and being a role model to all of us. His keynote address, like, 55,000 persons are, that is 55,000 diseases are there. At the same time, 8.1 crore as a diabetic patient. And more than that, very valid point, he has said that out of 137 crores of people we are in that, only nine crore are in a fit. So yoga is very important. And more than that, here I like to say, Sir is a good lyricist. And more than that, he is a good orator. Again, he has proved with a keynote address. And definitely, we will follow your thing, sir, for your essential uh, words which you have given. So here, we will follow your words, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thanks, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Now, now, may I move on to the special address? Our Our program is uh, who's a brain chain and a role model person and Asia's veteran fastest man. And more than that, he is a knowledge library in our physical education field. And apart from that, he has pr uh, presented more than 500 papers, research purpose, and he has produced many PhD scholars. And more than that, he is. Uh, holding a different uh, higher position in different universities all over India. That is none other than our principal, Dr. Judge Abraham, sir, to render special address to the gathering. Sir, can I have you please, sir? Thank you, Dr. Andrew. Good morning to everybody. Today's uh, chief guest, Professor uh, A. Muthi, former Vice Chancellor of Tamil Nadu Physical Education and Sports University, currently working as the director, Sports Medicine and Yoga, Sri Balaji Medical College and Hospital. Our guest of honor, Professor R. Langovan, a former uh, head of the Department of Yoga, Tamil Nadu Sports University. And currently, he is uh, working as a head and director of yoga science and therapy, Maha University. Our college uh, correspondent and secretary, Mr. Benjamin Fangley, administrator and estate manager, uh, Mr. Rajiv George, today's resource persons, uh, Yuva Dayalan from Hong Kong, and Brian Siddharthan Imgle from Ireland. Organizing secretaries, 
other faculty members of YMC College, non-teaching staff of YMC College, other professors, delegates, scholars and students. Very good morning to each and everyone to present in this platform. First of all, I welcome once again all the participants and delegates from India as well as abroad to this International Yoga Day celebration and International Virtual Conference. I wish you a happy and peaceful International Yoga Day. We know very well International Yoga Day was officially started in uh, 2015 by the genuine support uh, made by our Prime Minister uh, Narendra Modi ji. And it is celebrated every year on 21st of June. Uh, I would like to say a little bit about the International Yoga Day. I will take only two minutes. The declaration uh, was done after the call by the by Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji to the UN, uh, UN United Nations General Assembly on 27th of September 2014 during his address to the US General Assembly, sorry, UN General Assembly. On that day, record number of people participated in yoga in Delhi under the leadership of Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji. It was a world record for the highest participation in one single yoga session. This is a great achievement for Indians. Right now, more than 170 countries are practicing yoga. Yoga is a beautiful physical, mental and spiritual practices. It is related to making a healthy body and healthy mind. It is a beautiful exercise practice that links to soul, the nature, and keep fit and active. As Dr. Our uh, organizing secretary, Anbu said, YMC also denoting that. Body, mind, and spirit triangle. It is a very rich and highly complex tradition. Actually, we started International Yoga Day in 2015 only. But YMCA College started yoga as a part of physical education curriculum in 1920s. The founder principal of YMCA College, Mr. Harry Crow Buck, included yoga as a part of physical education curriculum in 1920s itself. That is a tradition of YMC College. That is a connection with YMC College and yoga, physical education and yoga. Because of Harry Crow Buck only, the founder principal of YMC College only, we could include yoga as a part of physical education curriculum. The practice of yoga is gaining worldwide appreciation and popularity. People all over the world are moving towards practicing yoga for having a healthy life. We know very well. It relaxes and calms soul and mind. Yoga is a medicine that has the power to cure any disease of the universe, even those which cannot be cured by the prescription of a doctor, including yoga in everyday life is one of the healthiest practice people can ever make. We know very well during this pandemic period, around 20% people started yoga in India. Because I could uh, recently uh, read an article that is published in American College of Sports Medicine, ACSM. In there, I could see one uh, topic. It is like this, a time to eat and a time to exercise. We have done only two things during 
pandemic period, especially during triple lockdown period. Eat and exercise. Some people started exercise. Some people only have done exercise during lockdown okay. period. Both are important. You know very well, in atheism, motto is excess is medicine. Same way, yoga is medicine. But another specialty yoga, we to practice yoga, we don't want any big space. We don't want any uh, synthetic turf or a synthetic stadium or any big stadium. Six into three feet space is more than enough to practice yoga. Any type of yoga activities, asanas, bandhas, mudras, or anything. That is another important factor of yoga. Anybody can practice. Everywhere we can practice yoga. Then I could see uh, the, uh, the, uh, the prescription of health by ACSM. Uh, they, they, they conducted many studies. They mentioned 150 minutes per week of physical activity for adults can prevent and treat chronic diseases like cancer, um, you know, very well, and this is like, uh, like uh, diabetes, diabetes and other, I mean, um, um, hypertension, hypotension, and other type of diseases. So, yoga clearly stated that. Yoga studies clearly said that we can prevent all the type of nitric diseases. We can normalize our lipid profiles also through yoga practice. So yoga is very, very important for us. So I think we can start yoga practices through yoga to prevent diseases as well as we can normalize our body's function. Yoga has many objectives. The main objectives, I am not going to enter the word objectives. The main objectives of International Yoga Day is to promote better mental, spirit, uh, physical, and spiritual development through yoga practice. I repeat, to promote better mental, physical, and spiritual development through yoga practice. That is the main objective of International Yoga Day. I would like to appreciate the organizers uh, of this international conference, uh, Dr. Rappan Anbarazu, Assistant Professor of IMC College, as well as Dr. J. Komla, uh, for their great effort to make this program in a very attractive way. And I thank our college management the chairman, Honorable Justice Kurian Joseph, as well as very active person, our correspondent and secretary, Mr. Benjamin Franklin, and our man in action, uh, Mr. Rajiv George, estate manager and administrator, for their great support. Without their support, we cannot make this program in a proper way. So I thank our, our management for their uh, support and their encouragement for conducting this uh, international conference here. Once again, I thank you each and everyone to present over here. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for your valuable keynote address. Especially, I want to quote from your uh, speech. Very simply, I have explained about the yoga, six into three feet, it's enough to make our whole life, even for the whole world, people can follow this very simple uh, quote. And more than that, you said that uh, yoga is a medicine. Yes, of course, it is very fact. And uh, according to ACMS, that 150, that is, as you said, that uh, minutes of practice in a week, it avoid cancer. So that is an equal way by doing yoga. It is also, we can be away from that. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your valuable welcome note, the special address. And now may I move on to felicitation address. Uh, by our correspondent secretary. Uh, regarding just, I want to give a small note about our correspondent secretary. He's a professional trained social worker, having introduced several innovative approaches in social work practice, especially in community health, community development, women's development, and consultant to many 
Indian states and have trained many field administrators and field workers in uh, uh, people participate in community development. He has been consulted to many international funding partners for mentoring and embracing evaluation and training over 40 years. And more than that, he is a consultant for a uh, lot of organizations. His, his uh, achievement is so long. So just I am uh, quoting very uh, important points only here. Like that is, uh, it is an, he is an active YMCA leader and contributed much to the development of YMCA movement. He has served in many organizations as its president, secretary, and uh, treasurer. He has served in this dignitary process and at present holding the responsibility of YMC College of Physical Education Pioneer Institution in Asia. He is holding the correspondent secretary. Sir, may I request you to give a felicitation address, sir? Sir, please. Thank you, sir. Am I audible? Am I audible? Yes. I can other people mute, please. Yeah. Uh, respected guests, especially as a well known personality in sports and uh, sports education, Dr. A. M. Murthy, and a well known personality in Yoga, Dr. R. Yalangoban and Dr. Yuva Dayalan, who holds the world record in yoga, and Dr. Bayan, and distinguished personalities who are attending to this seventh International Yoga Day, and dear participants. First of all, I want to greet you on this day of the 7th International Yoga Day, where the College of Physical Education has taken as a privilege to celebrate this by holding this International Yoga Day. And great personalities have accepted to give a talk, so I don't want to stand in between their talk. Especially yoga, as you know, is a very, very old art. Even before Christ, the art of yoga has developed and has evolved over a period of time to come to this particular level. Now, everybody feels that a yoga is very, very useful to their day-to-day -day life and also for the welfare of the human beings. But this fact is known only to a few. Actually, people like me also for uh, years back, yoga is postures and twisting of arms and body. These are the things that are projected as yoga. So for a common man, the concept of yoga has not reached yet. So it is an art to control body, mind, spirit. So eventually to develop a good human being. So developing body, mind, spirit is developing a very good human being. So this concept has to be communicated to the public and the uh, human beings at large. So it's also again twisted as it is a property of a particular thing. It is not the property of a, a particular sect or a group or a religion. It is a property of the human being. As I said, it evolved several years before Christ. So it is the property of the human being as a whole. 
and it should be used to develop a good human being and as good citizen especially as a OMCA man. OMCA and yoga are thus very closely related as Dr. Professor George has quoted and all the other, other speakers also have quoted. It is a body, mind and spirit, which is also again being taken by yoga, whether OMCA has taken it from yoga or it has combined or it is uh, an accident, we do not know. But the combination of yoga and OMCA is so integrated. So it is the right place that OMCA College of Physical Education has taken it as a major uh, art to communicate to the public that everybody should practice yoga wherever, especially in the time of pandemic. So as I said, it should be promoted to develop good discipline, to promote brotherhood, and for a life full of righteousness and justice. So this is what, so is merely uh, practicing yoga, I saying that I have done uh, this much of yoga practices, I'm an expert at this, I'm an international personality, that is not enough. So it should finally end up in developing a brother, brotherhood and a life full of righteousness and justice. So with this, I take the privilege to congratulate to Dr. Gordon Barasu and Dr. Kamala for having organized and coordinated this international conference under the able leadership of George Abraham, our principal, of this prestigious college. I wish you all success and a very happy and useful session ahead. Thank you for this opportunity. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much for your valuable keynotes uh, address uh, regarding our seventh International Yoga Day. Thank you very much. Now I'm going to another felicitation address by uh, our administrator and estate manager, Rajiv sir, sir uh, Rajiv Jarj, sir. A small note about him that he is from Kerala and he did his UG at St. Peter's College, Kerala, Kollanjeri. And he completed PG diploma in business management and personal management in Cochin. And he had been served in a different career as a secretary in YMCA Ernakulam. And, and then he came to Chennai in 1980. He's a businessman and he is a successful service oriented man. More than that, very good administrator and able counselor, now serving as administrative and estate manager in our prestigious institution, YMC College of Physician. Sir, may you present the felicitation address, sir. Thank you, Dr. Panad. So for the small introduction of me. Uh, Dr. Murthy, Dr. Ilangovan, our correspondent secretary, Ms. Benjamin Franklin, the teaching faculty, headed by Dr. George Abraham, and participants. I am, I have to apologize to all of you. I don't practice uh, yoga so far in my life, but my wife practices. I know I've seen her practicing and practically I have seen it reduces stress and strain. And yoga is akin to peace because people who practice yoga will develop such sort of a peaceful mind. That also I've seen from people who practice yoga. And uh, during the days of pandemic, the pranayama, who, whoever practice pranayama has uh, exposed their lungs to more of air, more of oxygen. They, it's also a plus for, the, for escaping from the clutches of uh, coronavirus. So 
um i am uh, i will try to i'll try to practice yoga after this program attending this program and the meantime i let me congratulate our college uh, uh team who has uh, taken the efforts of successfully conducting the program under the leadership of uh, professor anbar shu komala and uh, guided by dr george abraham on this particular day the very day of the nath yoga so all the best to the program and you are going to listen to many many exponent uh, speakers kindly gain and uh, try to practice yoga was it will benefit you definitely in this pandemic days if you practice pranayama that is by theoretical knowledge anyway all the best to the program thank you very much thank you for love thank you sir thanks a lot for your uh, valuable words and he is a man of our colleague and innovative man in our college thank you sir uh, now uh, introduction about the resource person now can i call upon dr jodi dayanand associate professor senior most faculty in our college and is a very well known personality in yoga uh, i request ma'am to give a introduction about dr yuva dayalan first session resource person ma'am please ma'am audio on mute jodi ma'am audio audio on mute audio audio on mute pannunga ma'am jodi ma'am Jodi yeah. ma'am please unmute yourself. Ah oh, okay ma'am. Uh, excuse me just now I was on uh, over the phone from Hong Kong you know Yuvraj just called me and said that he has got another class so he requested to uh, proceed with the second speaker and he would join immediately by 11, 12:30. I uh, may I request the organizing secretary to kindly take over and invite Dr Johnson and Dr Jackson to proceed as a chairperson and co-chairperson and I will join when Yuvraj comes. so i regret for this and he is running short of time since he has got to meet another platform uh, at the same time so uh, may i request dr anbarson to proceed with the second speaker thank you so much oh, okay ma'am thank you for the information uh, for the second uh, session resource person may i call upon dr j komla to continue that over to komla ma'am thank you for anbar sir Uh, now i would like to call, invite uh, the third person dr s jansen from prem kumar sir assistant professor omc college of physical education uh, so, uh, to introduce about the uh, second session resource person dr uh, brian isidarson inkle sir please jansen sir uh, good morning everybody good morning good morning sir ஹாப்பிட் Yes sir yes sir you can proceed now Yes 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 okay thank you uh, thank you for this opportunity given uh, me as a chairperson for this uh, session uh, and coach uh, coach or person uh, for this session dr jackson sudar singh on behalf of the uh, ymc college of physical education i give a warm welcome to you all for the 7th international yoga day i wish you all wish you happy yoga day um, i like to introduce uh, this session um, uh, speaker uh, brain sidatha uh, is uh, is from he graduated in the british college of orthopedic medicine and novatic institute for somatic research and training uh, he is a founder of the legal institute of somatic education he had a 30 years of experience uh bring a uh, brain has been incurring in into athletic system of self healing movement and the personal development 
he has a background of ayurvedic medicine vedic astrology and he has been based in india in 1995 onwards uh, actually he is from um, ireland now he settled in india in 1995 onwards uh, he um, siddhas uh, brain siddhas like he is a licensed doctor of orthopedic and medicine and new, uh, naturopathy he is a certified hana summit educator uh, a summit yoga practitioner of the flat break method and aqua body worker he is a pioneer in the field of somatic education and brought uh, hana somatic in ireland uh, i already know him uh, when we present in the paper in the amravati university i had a um, have a first efficient time to um, share his views in yoga about yoga on behalf of the ymc college the organizing secretaries and the management and the principal and the staff i give a warm welcome to brain siddhat to share his valuable knowledge in this session i invite uh, brain siddhat to take over this session thank you sir Thank you, sir, for your uh, uh, elaborate uh, introduction about Dr. Brian Siddharthan. So, Brian Siddharthan, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, dear participant, please wait for a few minutes. I will be available soon. Komala, ma'am, unmute yourself. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You can hear me now. Yes. Sir, Anbu, sir, Brian, sir, is there available here? Yeah, you only said that he has come. Okay. Nabilda, ma'am. Sir, I think which name he has given? Living somatics. Uh, you are Dayalan. Living somatics. Living somatics. Into the brain on the part. Okay, fine, fine. I will just like the next class. Living somatic. I am living in somatic. Yeah, I will teach the next class. Like let Mr. Brian finish because okay. he has a class by like uh, twelve okay. to fifteen again. Okay, so, like, okay, okay. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Madam, living in somatic. No, on the part. Lives in somatic. Abhi your name kadya de? No sir, we didn't Parva get check anything. Out. Check check out. I think he is joining. Uh, Komala, check paning madam kani. No, he is not there. Not. So please call him again. Ask him. Ask him to join us again, sir. He is not joined, sir. Okay. We didn't get any name in that. Uh... I think he has not joined now. So you are, sir. Please check uh, whether uh... you are. Just whether you have joined. Or... So, so long, Felix, sir. Sandu sir, please call him sir again. So dear partisan, sorry for this uh, inconvenient. Please wait for a few minutes. Yes, sir, you have joined. No issues, ma'am. Thank you. Yes, I welcome yes, you, uh, Doctor. Uh, uh, Doctor Brian Sudarshan, uh, please unmute your audio and uh, you can start your session. Already have our comment. Already have our. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, come, I think. Thank you. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. Uh, and you hear me okay? Yeah, yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Very well. Carry thank on. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you thank for you, inviting sir. me to this um, wonderful conference. Thank you, sir. Uh, you can start now your session. We have uh, introduced about you, uh, Dr. Pra Johnson Prempa have introduced about you to the participants. 
Now okay. we can start the question, sir. Okay. Uh, thank you for your uh, coming, sir. Yeah. So let me share my screen. Yeah, sir, you can share. So welcome everybody. Um, as you know, my name is Brian Sudartha, Dr. Brian Sudartha Ingall. I'm an osteopath and a somatic educator and a Feldenkrais practitioner, a somatic yogi. I've been in the field for a very long time and I'd like to present to you my work. Um, the name of my organization is Living Somatics. <laughs> please, 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 please all the participants meet yourself, please. So, please, participant, be mute. The session has started. Yes, brain, sir, carry on. Brian, sir, please unmute your audio. Um, yes, Brian, sir, please unmute your audio and I can. So you can hear me, Brian, sir. Sir, can Brian, you, sir. Can you hear me now? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. We can hear. You can hear now. Okay, yeah. fine. So I think you muted me there for a second. Okay, yeah. so let's uh, go again. So the, the talk will be about the importance of embodiment and interoception and proprioception and the role that has in terms of therapy. Because mostly with therapy, we're not thinking about these learning strategies and the experience of the patient so that changes can take place for them through their experience. So this is what we'll be talking about. And for some, okay, here we go. So we're going to, first of all, look at the history of the uh, Western um, somatic approach. And I, I like to call this the yoga of the West because it is to do with unity. Um, somatics mean mind, body, and spirit is one functional unit. And this gentleman here, um, Alexander, he was a Shakespearean actor and he lost his voice and he couldn't, um, uh, he couldn't project his voice anymore. So he started developing a technique called the Alexander technique. You might be familiar with it. It's well known in the world, especially in, in the UK. And then he went on to, to he, he, one of his main students, I don't know, is Dr. Moshe Feldenkrais. And you can see here that he's the master of um, the somatic world. He died in 1982. And um, he developed a system where you could work with students on the table. And, and behind you see all students lying on the floor um, called awareness through movements. And I'm trained in the Feldenkrais method as well and in this awareness through movement. So I'm just giving you a little bit of the history. Now, Tom Hanna, um, brought Moshe to the United States. And this is the first training that he did in 1975 in San Francisco. So um, Tom Hanna there is basically the lineage that I'm also involved in. And uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful system, which we'll talk about more in a moment. So the important thing to remember here is the brain and how uh, it changes itself. And if, if you haven't had this, got this book yet, I would really um, advise you to get this book. And this book is, teaches us the importance of neuroplasticity, neuroplasticity, and how the brain changes itself. So it's really important that you understand that the brain can in fact change itself. And the question is, how do we do that as a therapist? How do we uh, create strategies for making those changes? This is very important. Nitya, 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 quiet, quiet. How do we make those changes? 
How do we um, get the brain to change itself? What do we do to make this happen? And this is what this talk is really about. And it's so, so important because we're not thinking about that as physiotherapists. We're only thinking about how we can do a treatment to make, and we're the operator and we're making the changes. But if you really understand, you'll know that it is the patient that makes changes for themselves. And if we can change things functionally, meaning if we can change the function of the nervous system, if we can change how the, the patient improves its move, their movement, their self-use, then structure will change. It's very important to understand that structure follows function. You improve function, you teach the student, the patient, to improve the function of how they use themselves, and they will change their structure and then side effect, meaning less pain, more um, quality, improved quality of life. This is the missing, the missing point in all of this body work is to understand how we change things functionally by honing down on this neuroplasticity. The brain is capable of changing itself, therefore the self-healing, self-correcting, et cetera, et cetera. So this, um, if you're not familiar with this um, work, uh, polyvagal theory, then you should be. <laughs> polyvagal theory is um, to do with the two branches of the vagus nerve. And when you think possibly, if you're not familiar with this theory, you're thinking of the, the, the vagus nerve and you're thinking of the, you know, the digestive system, the breathing, all the parasympathetic involuntary systems, and you'd be absolutely right. But recently there has been a shift in the understanding that there's two branches of the vagus nerve. And one of those is unmyelinated, which is the one you're familiar with, familiar with and the other is a myelinated one. And this vagus nerve, it has the ability, how will I say this? when you get connected to, to, when you feel connected to the world, when you're feeling, when you're, if you think about a mother and a child and the mother has the child in its arms and it's going, making these voices and sounds and it's looking at the mother's face, it's to do with facial expression and sounding, then the child feels safe, the, the child feels uh, secure and it's in that place where learning can take place. So part of our strategy as a um, educator, even in, in, as a therapist, as a physical therapist, even as a doctor, is to bring things into the shanty place where we're activating ventral vagal tone, meaning that the student is deeply relaxed, deeply connected, and deeply feeling safe. So it's so, so important that we have strategies to bring our patient there. And there's many things that we do for that in my work. And I hope you guys are thinking about it too and what you can do in your work. So from, as you know, I am a osteopath and here is the biosocial -phys physiology uh, philosophy of osteopathy, where we think about the um, biological, Neurophysiology, physiological function, tissue damage, structure and function, as I spoke, to, spoke before, structure and function, reciprocally interrelated. We also must think about mind and, you know, beliefs, coping strategies, emotion, emotions, etc., illnesses and behavior. And to know that the, the mind and the body really is a unity. There is no separation from these two things. So it's to do with self-regulation. When we have bodily unity, we're thinking about self-regulation, repair, health, and maintenance. And of course, we must think about the culture and the social connection there, the, the unity of mind, body, spirit, and environment. So it's very important to think holistically. When, and let's not just throw this word out without actually you know, embodying it and doing something about it. We must look at the personality, the person as a whole, when we're working with them, their psychological state, their biological state, their physiological state, and their social um, uh, status at that particular time. Without looking at those things in a holistic manner, 
we are not really working in, the, in activating the potential of our students, of our clients, of our patients. So how do we do it? How do we do this magic to create this polyvagal situation, to create this situation where the student is making the changes for his or, or the patient is making the changes for his or herself? Well, you're all familiar with proprioception. Proprioception, as you know, is how we feel ourselves moving in relation to our environment. And this, my friends, is a lost art. It's a lost art. We are most of the time, you know, having our servants doing all our work for us. We are sitting around by computer. We are being driven around. We hardly run, walk, we have to go out of our way to do functional movement. We have lost the art of proprioception. And when you lose the art of proprioception, you are far away from self-correcting and self-healing. The more that you can become proprioceptive, aware of how you use yourself, the more you're in polyvagal, the more, uh, the more you're in this myelinated vagus nerve, and the more the self-correcting, self-healing uh, can take place for you as a person, as a student, as a patient. So I use uh, a lot of my work is around improving proprioception for my students through my hands-on work, my table work, and through the movement um, uh, classes that I teach, which is very, very in line with these strategies. So we have also, the, 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 the outside and within we're looking at here. So we have proprioception and we have exteroception, which we know is to do this sensing outsides, sight, sound, smell, touch and taste. And we have interoception, which is when we feel, it's not how we feel ourselves move, but when we feel like we're, we're hungry. Interoception includes proprioception, of course, of course. But when we're feeling we've got a headache, or we've got, uh, got hunger and we're sensing from the inside. And also interoception is really to do with our gut feeling, our intuition. So uh, as, a, as a teacher, we have to embody um, interoception, proprioception, have, have functioning extero, exteroception senses so that we can see what's going on with our client. So we can feel and, and sense what's going on and we can even, you know, hear in, in, in relation to how they're walking, how they're moving and so forth. So for art to have our senses really working, our interoceptive senses, our extraceptive senses and our proprioceptive senses working, this will be a, a fantastic um, strategy for us to teach others to do the same thing. So let's talk a little bit more about interoception. We can call this the, the eight sense, the conscious perception of your internal bodily signals. So, you know, when you feel your heart beating and you recognize your internal, when you feel yourself breathing, when you feel yourself being anxious or you feel yourself being relaxed, this is something that we have to embody and develop and grow with because we have become far away from it. This is a very yogic sort of thing. Um, so we must come back to this sense of our eighth sense. And we must teach others to come back to it too because we have been cut off from our bodily sensations and we've become top heavy and become very cerebral. So we have, for, for integration to take place, we have sensing, we have feeling, we have thinking, we have action, and all this is in related to the environment. And we have awareness, which is the center of all these things. Are we aware of our action? Are we aware of what we're sensing as we're moving? Are we aware of how we are feeling? And with all of this um, operating, we are, are we aware how we are in relation to the other, how we are in relation to our environment? And when the, all of this is balanced, we really practice integration. So why? Why would we bother doing all this? Why would we do it? Well, the question I have for you is like, why wouldn't we do it? We have become as a society, 
more led by Western culture. And Western culture is very materialistic. We have become more interested in how do we fill up our bank account rather than finding something that truly moves us. What is it that truly moves us in life? Have you got a, a hobby that you love doing and you wake up in the morning and you look forward to, which is maybe you have nothing necessarily to do with your income. And if it has to do with your income, then you have made the right choices earlier on in your life. The more we become aware of our interoception, of our se felt sense of who we are, when we find out what brings us joy, when we really tune into that, we can actually actualize our potential. And surely, surely uh, life is about that. The great philosophers of life said, know thyself. It doesn't mean just know what your thinking mind is up to and fill up your bank account and get married and, you know, get your children married off and then sort of die and lots of people coming to your funeral because you're well respected. That's a life. But is it a, is it, is it a life where you've reached your potential? So as a therapist, I think now we've got to think a little bit more outside the box and how we can educate people to find more what their innate needs are in terms of an individual that really makes them shine and grow. And before you can teach another to do that, you need to find that for yourself. And that's what this talk is really about, inspiration in that regard. So when we, when we find our potential, when we find out what really moves us, then we can really get to the peak of who we are. So we should start this and practice whatever that is from a young age until we reach the, 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 the peak of our potential and we can really feel joyous, satisfied from the inside because of our achievements. So that is all I wanted to say. And now I will take questions. So who would like to ask a question? Anybody, anything at all? Please, how was this talk for you? Does it make sense? To the refers person, those who have any doubt regarding a, uh, the if topic, you can ask the question. Now chat back Good morning, I'm Simpson. Yes. Can you hear me, sir? I can hear you. I can't see you, though. Yes, please speak. Uh, sir, uh, you were talking about that uh, nervous system. So yes. yoga, we believe to directly affect the nervous system. Yes. So is there any, is there any harmless if you discontinue yogic practices? Is there any, what did you say? Is there any harm if you discontinue the yogic practices? For example, I'm practicing yoga for the past five years. Yes. Due to some other the reason, I'm not able to continue after the fifth year. Will there Why? be any... Why can't you... Some other reason, some other reason. I'm not in a position to continue. You mean you haven't got the physical space to practice? Or tell me the, what the issue is. No, 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 no. There's some other reason, medical reason or any other reason. I'm not able to continue that. You're not able to continue your physical In yoga practice? Case, yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yogic practices. You mean physical so, asana? You build that. Asana. Yes, phys physical asanas, asanas, particularly the asanas. Will there be any effect on the nervous system or other physiological values? Baba, if you haven't got a regular awareness practice then you're going to be in trouble. You need to have that going on. If, yoga, if you're not able to do it with the yoga practice you're doing, you need to find a way of doing it where you can find relaxation and ease. I, I don't know what your particular problem is, but maybe you'd like to um, discuss it with me personally and privately, and I can guide you in a way to come back to that. So, yes, I would say... No, no, is. actually, hmm? actually, I, I, I'm a... Uh, teacher in uh, this college itself yes many are many are hesitating to follow yogic practices why because if you practice yoga they have to practice till their death that is uh, i don't know whether it's a myth or misconception so i want to clarify that listen 
I don't, I don't understand why would there be reluctance to practice yoga if you're in a yogic college? I mean, you might practice it to your death, but until you get to your death, you're practicing it on a daily basis. You're waking up in the morning and you're doing it and you're doing it day by day because you love it and because you enjoy it. If you're not loving it and you're not enjoying it, then you probably won't keep up the practice. You, as I said in this talk, you have to find something that really moves you and speaks to you. And if yoga is not it, then it has to find it somewhere else. But if you don't have a regular movement practice in your life that's embodied and aware, and aware that I don't personally, I don't think you can grow and develop and reach your potential as a human being. My yeah. opinion, my opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So find out what moves you, find out what you love to do. And don't make it about just becoming better in your profession or becoming more respected or making more money. Find something that you love, that turns you on, that you feel inspired to wake up in the morning and do because you love it. And then your life will become successful because you found out what you love. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, uh, I, now I would like to invite uh, Dr. Jackson Sudarshan Singh, uh, sir. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you from the chat box. Yes, what's your question? Hello? Oh, ah, yeah, sir, one minute. Sure. Sure. Um, there is no questions in the chat box. If you want to ask any questions uh, uh, from our res resource person, you can chat. Please, anybody who just wants to speak openly yeah. and any question about what I spoke of, anything at all, please ask me a question. I'm available. Just raise your hand and speak. Hello, good morning, sir. Good morning. I'm Neeraj Dev from Maharashtra, Amravati. Welcome. I'm just asking the question regarding in your country, how you are going to celebrate International Yoga Day? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm actually going to be um, interviewing a... I'm, I'm in Pondicherry but right now, by the way. Okay, great. And, um, but in my country, the... the um, some yoga organization there, the, internet, the yoga therapist organization had a big um, yoga demonstration with the embassy of India. Yes. And um, they went on to sort of do that. And it was also online. I, even though I've also been invited to interview a famous Israeli yoga teacher called Orit Sengupta from Vijnana Yoga. And she will be presenting... Um, through the Israeli um, embassy in, in London on, um, on international... Well, it's going to be a, few, a few, couple of weeks later because it suits them, but that's her, my contribution to interviewing her, her work. She's a very famous and a respected uh, yoga teacher, and you should definitely maybe check it out. Orit Sengupta Vijnana Yoga. Thank you, sir. Yes. So anybody else would like to, any question about what I spoke of and the importance of awareness in relation to yoga? Has anybody got anything for me? Good morning, sir. Yes. Uh, I'm from uh, Manipur. My name is uh, Tarang Mumsina Tundisi. Welcome. Uh, so I want to ask some questions. Your session is uh, very good. I appreciate this. Thank you very much for your session, sir. And uh, so for the yoga practice, and from which years we can practice it? Sorry, what's the question? Uh, from which year? From which year we can practice the yoga for the science? From, from, the from what age? Are you saying what age? Yeah, 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 yeah. age. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think that's uh, an individual thing, and it has to come from the child that they're interested. I, th I think to impose something on somebody who's not ready for it or doesn't want it is not really the way forward. So um, if, if, if you're practicing yoga and your child is watching you, and this is what children do, is that they copy their parents and they start copying you and it's happening organically in that way, 
Okay. Then let it happen in that way, but but don't force don't force the child okay. to do something. And then it will they'll grow and, and like it more and more, and they'll start developing an interest as they get older too. I would I would say it's an individual thing and let it happen organically rather than imposing it on you on the children. Okay. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. But very I would much. say also yeah. that um, yes. it's it's very important that it's brought into the school curriculum, which is happening more and more in the West. I've taught um, children in, in uh, the United States and in, in my own country, Ireland, and it's becoming yeah. a much more widely uh, spread and seen as a very good thing. And they called it like more to do with mindfulness because some, some countries get a little bit scared of the word yoga because they think it's Hinduism or something like that, which of course yeah. it's not. So um, we try to bring it in in other ways and call it mindfulness and so forth, mindfulness through movement and so forth. But it's becoming very popular in yeah. uh, schools in the West. And if you can bring children into it at that age, then they'll be much more in touch with their interoceptive and proprioceptive ability. And we can think about how it will prevent a lot of common sort of illnesses like osteoarthritis, like diabetes, like hypertension, like anxiety, like mental disorders and so forth. If the child gets into it at, a, at an early age and starts to continue that practice as they, as they grow and develop. Okay. Okay, thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much for thank your- you. And somebody has their hand raised up there. M. Venkateshwarlu. Hi, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Yes, you have a question? Yes, I'm asking question. I'm yes. Jyoti from Hyderabad, sir, Telangana. And Hello, Jyoti one... from Hyderabad. Welcome. Yes, yeah. thank you. What's your question, Jyoti? Jyoti? Are you with us, Jyoti? Jodi, are you there? Do you have so any what, questions? Jyoti? Jyoti? Okay, while we're waiting for Jyoti, is there somebody else who has a question here for me? Anything at all while I'm here and available? Anything at all? Uh, one question I have seen in the chat box. It's from uh, our assistant professor, Dr. Gladi Kirbogar. Here yes. Here, uh, question. Um, how far yoga is advantage? where there is no physical activities or physical work or physical training. So what's the question again? Could you repeat it? How far the yoga is advantage if there is no physical uh, exercise or physical uh, training? Is it, okay. So, I mean, as we know that yoga is, is not just um, about physical exercise and asana, even though in this day and age, the emphasis is very much on that. And of course, we have pranayamas, we have meditations, we have all sorts of kriyas and cleansing processes and so forth. So of course, if, if you're just doing pranayama and you're sitting and meditating and you're finding that easeful and easy and it's not a strain, then of course, it'll be very beneficial. But as you know, the sages in the past said that asana is a preparation for sitting, for meditation. But I believe that asana can be a meditation itself if it's done in the right way in terms of awareness through movement as we're practicing. And then meditation and asana is the same thing. So again, it's really an individual choice. You can obviously not do asana and still practice yoga through pranayama and kriyas and meditation and so forth. But I think that to have some embodied physical movement is so important for a living human being. And yoga is definitely a beautiful way of doing that. Physical asana, that is. Does that answer your question? Thank you. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. I'm Samuel from YMCA. Hello, Sammy. Uh, sir, I had one doubt. Uh, uh, while uh, practicing the yoga, before start of the yogic practices, whether we need to compulsory do the prayer Well, I mean, you, to, to set the environment in a right way to make a prayer in, um, 
humility is a very good way to start any practice, you know, to sort of like bow down to, 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 to pay respect to the teachers that have come before you to come into this humility mode and then practice. I mean, it's not compulsory, but it's recommended. You have to find out your way and what works for you. I would recommend it. I do a mantra every, before my asana practice every time and it works for me, but it may not work for you. You have to find your way. That's the key point. Find out who you are and find out what your needs are. It doesn't, it's not a recipe here. It's what's right for you. So this is not a compulsory one. This is a uh, advisable and recommendation only. Yes. Nothing Thank is you. compulsory. Everything is just Thank recommended. You've got to find your way. In my opinion. Just in my opinion. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Who else? So one more question from Dr. Karthikeyan, assistant professor from OMC College. Yes. Uh, explain about the yogic diet. Yogic diet. Uh, one more, sir. Uh, whether it's a mandatory to adopt it. Well, I mean, you know, first of all, what's recommended for a yogic diet is a sattvic diet. And again, if you're not, and everybody's different and everybody's needs are different and everybody's culture is different. So you have to really tune in to your inner knowing, your inner physician. You have to develop your proprioceptive and interception skills so you'll know what's right for you. And everybody's at a different place and you have to respect and honor people where at that, at the place they're at. So things change as we become more and more in tune with ourselves, as we develop our potential, our lifestyle changes, our eating habits changing, changes. Maybe we stop drinking alcohol or we may give up cigarettes and we become vegetarian. But we let, let this thing happen organically and naturally rather than imposing Imposing something from the outside will never work. It has to come from the inside, from your knowing. So there's only the right way is your way. Uh, thank you, sir. Another question uh, raised by Dr. Glory uh, from YMCA College of Physical Education, assistant professor, one of the senior faculty. Uh, she asked, uh, um, what are the exercises to develop uh, polyvagals? Okay, that's a good question. Really, and uh, how, how to improve that? Is asking for well, it's your touch, a warm embrace from your, from your brother, your sister, mother, lover, husband, wife, to be intimate in that way physically, by touch, by safe touch, T-O-U-C-H, touch. One thing, actually by having a cold, cold shower and putting cold water on the face also um, does this. That's a great exercise. By pr practicing awareness as a key strategy in your movement practice is key, key, key. By practicing love and kindness meditations, by being kind and loving and, and re receptive and thoughtful of others, by actually singing, by singing is a really great way of doing it. By singing and playing a musical instrument is another way of doing it. Um, and of course, by, by just normal meditation, but really the meditation should be more centered around the heart because polyvagal is more to do with heart connection. And by falling in love, <laughs> fall in love, be love. This is a big way of getting in touch with the myelinated vagus nerve. Stephen Porges is the guy who developed these theories and found this. So you should really, really check this out polyvagal theory by Stephen Porges and how you can embody that and become that and increase your vagal tone. Thank you for the question. Very enlightened question. Thank you, sir. Yes. One more question from our, one of our students, uh, Ms. Sagariha Kanaga. She asked, how does yoga help, help the people with the proprioceptional disorders? Uh, Baba, I think that we've all got proprioceptional disorders because we've lost our ability to sense ourselves as we move. So I would say that 90% of the world's adult population have proprioception disorders. So yes, by slowing the yoga down, the yoga asana down, 
by really putting attention on, not on the form of the asana, but how you come into it, how you come out of it, how you feel as you're working. This is the way to enhance proprioceptive um, uh, awareness. So I think it applies for everybody, not people who just got clinical uh, problems around that. But I think we all have problems around that. It's a lost art. Proprioception was the thing that was needed for survival in the past. Now you need a computer and a bank account to survive. Before you had to gather, hunt and gather and protect yourself and so forth. But now all those skills are less and less needed to our detriment. So everybody has got a proprioceptive disorder. We all must come back to it so that we can really enjoy our lives. That's my answer to that question. <laughs> Thank you, sir. And one of hey, Jackson, sir, uh, I would like to ask one question. Yes. yes. Okay. Thank you, sir, uh, for your nice presentation. That was very nice and uh, eye-opener to all the people. I would like to raise one uh, uh, question. That is usually people people are asking, how is yoga or asana different from stretching or other kinds of fitness activities? Okay. Well, unfortunately, um, yoga today has become a lot about stretching. And I can guarantee you that yoga is not meant to be about a st stretching at all. When you see the, the Pukka yogis in the past or in the present even practicing yoga, they are not stretching ever, ever, ever. Because when you stretch muscles, you create a thing called the stretch reflex. And the opposing muscle sort of gets tight and what you're trying to stretch becomes actually tighter. And this is particularly true when you're trying to stretch a muscle that's already tight. What you need to do is activate the agonist so the antagonist will lengthen. So if I wanted to say stretch my back, no, I would engage my front to bring myself forward and focus on the agonist working to lengthen the antagonist rather than focusing on stretching the um, muscles at the back. Do you get my point? Focus on how you use yourself. Mitya, please. Focus on how you use yourself when you work. Do you get it? Yes, yeah, sir. Okay. Uh, what is the difference between asanas and pilates? <laughs> well, you know, Pilates is all about uh, strengthening the core and it's more to do with muscle tone. While yoga, I mean, asana, yoga asana is, is a completely different ball game at all. It's much more holistic. It's, it's got a philosophical base in terms of uh, awakening and, and awareness. Uh, it's, it's, it's only in the same ballpark in the sense because there's movement involved, but they're so far away from each other that I don't even think they're comparable. One is to do with strengthening, conditioning, looking good, um, increasing core uh, stability and so forth. And yoga is much more broad in relation to that. Okay, sir, thank you. Thank you. Sir, and uh, probably it may be a last question uh, from our organizing, one of our organizing secretaries, Dr. Ponnan Brasu, he has raised that question. Yes. And combine uh, physical activity and yoga practice together. And uh, he has asked another question also. Is there any limitation while doing the uh, somatic yoga practice? So, sorry, I'm not clear on the first question. Yoga and some other physical activity. Could you clarify yeah. that question? Can we combine uh, the physical activities along with the yoga practices? What do you mean by combining physical activities with that yoga practices? Uh, training, different training. Well, yeah, different, different athletic trainings, you mean? Yes. Okay, yes. absolutely. So I'm a, a surfer here in Pondicherry. I surf every day and I do a very strong um, somatic yoga practice every day too. So when I do my somatic yoga practice, which I do daily, it really enables me to surf better, to find better balance, to have less injuries. I don't really get injuries at all compared to my surfing colleagues because they don't do yoga and I do. So I would say that for any athlete, um, that yoga is a tremendous benefit if it's long as it's done in the right way, meaning that we're not focusing on stretching, that we're really focusing on the awareness part of yoga and not just um, you know, trying to get into asanas and push and force. Sukham asanam, find the ease in the pose. 
So that's answering the first question. Absolutely very, very compatible. And you as yoga teachers should be thinking, bringing that into all your elite sports in India, being trainers for your cricket team, for football team, for any other badminton, et cetera, et cetera. All that stuff is going to help big time with their performance as an athlete. Now, the second question, is there any limitations um, with somatic yoga? So let's be clear here. Somatic yoga is about being embodied. It's about being aware of what we're doing. It's about being aware of what we're feeling as we are doing our asana. It is not about stretching. It is about engaging the agonist or the antagonist lens. It's working holistically. It's really working from the inside. So there's the only limitation there would be, or contraindication would be, to not follow the strategies. And not following the strategy would mean forcing, having pain when you're working, um, spacing out, not be, being somewhere else as you're not working. So if you're not following the strategies of somatic yoga, then you are not practicing yoga. You are practicing exercise. You are practicing physical something or other, which has nothing to do with yoga. Yoga is all about working from the inside, mind, body, spirit as one unit, and feeling comfortable, being aware, being at ease. So there's no contraindication except when you're not following the strategies. That is my answer. Thank you, sir. Related to this. Uh, so thank you. Thank you for your beautiful yep. answer. Uh, nice answer. But one thing just I want to make it. Uh, every day we can do, see, as you said, that you're doing somatic yoga. And then you are entering to the athletic activities and surfing like that. It's good, okay. But commonly, people are used to say that after doing yogic practice, at least minimum two to three hours, we have to give a relaxation. Yes. Then we have to enroll in athletic activity. Uh, how far it is true? Why have to be? Well, I, I have to say that I do do that. I do my strong yoga practice in the morning. I let things integrate. And then I practice surfing in the evening. Um, I wouldn't say it's a hard and fast rule. I don't think there are any hard and fast rules. I always feel it's an individual choice from their inner knowing. And we have to keep coming back to that. What is right for me? Not because somebody is telling me that. Um, but I would say as a general recommendation, it's better to do that yoga thing. Let things integrate. Let things rest. Um, it's too much. You don't want to force things, especially if it's a strong practice that you're, you're working with. If I went to do yoga, if I went to do surfing directly after yoga, I know my body would not be happy with that. The, uh, to, to come back to the interception, to what am I feeling? What are my needs? What's right for me, for my knowing, is much more important than what somebody else is telling me. So you have to empower your students to find their inner wisdom and their inner knowing. And the way to do that is by embodying proprioceptive and interoceptive behavior. Does it make sense? Thank you so much. Probably the last question of this session because it's very interesting question asked by Suresh Raidu Tandra. Yes. Uh, he has uh, the last question there. Yes. Um, by practicing yoga, we can balance our weight in air without any support. By practicing yoga, opinion on by, it? by practicing yoga, we can what? By practicing yoga, we can balance our weight. We can Sorry. balance our weight in the air. Balance our weight in the air. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Are you talking about the flying cities of Patanjali? He's trying to say. Are you talking about the flying cities of Patanjali? Hello, sir. Yes. Uh, sir, this is Suresh Tandra from Varangal, sir. Okay. So, so many yogi krushi they can balance their weight in the air. Um, yes, in yes, the air. yes. So, how it is possible? It is uh, due to possible by practicing yoga or uh, any other techniques are there. We want to know that. Okay, fine. I can answer that question because I am trained. I am trained in. I am trained in this. I am trained in this. So, I was a long-term student of Marishi Mahesh Yogi. And I was trained in the uh, Patanjali Sutras to practice them internally. I was also trained in the. I was also trained in the Flying City. 
And I actually became, I came second in the uh, Yogic Olympics in uh, 19... <laughs> In 1988, I was 22 years of age and I became second in the yogic high jump flying in full lotus. So I was levitating. Um, so yes, if you're trained, into, you must be trained how to do this. You can't just you know, think, oh, I'll do asana and then all of a sudden one day I'll be able to levitate. There's a whole process. If you want to learn how to do that, you go to see the um, transcendental meditation movement Maharishi Mahesh Yogi and you learn his city program and you will learn the flying sutra and you will learn to levitate I've done it for years <laughs> so that's the answer to that question it is possible Thank it's you. a real thing and you can learn how to do it Maharishi Mahesh Yogi Thank you so much sir and you are uh... Presentation is very crispy and so in, and you have covered from the new area, embodying interoception and proprioception. Yes, so it's very informative and as well as the question and answer session is more informative as well as interview sessions. If you can be able to see the chat box, chat box, all the participants have appreciated your presentation and so Thank lively. You so your much. session is so lively. So we are so lucky to have a resource person like you in our one day international conference on yogic practices for healthy life. Well, thank yeah. you for, and thank sir. you. Hello, sir. Sir. Experience gave more meaning sir. on it. Sir. Hello, sir. Thanks sir. so much. Sir. Hello, sir. Yes. Hello, sir. Yes. Hello, sir. Can I ask one and, question, sir? And uh, yes, you can ask one question before I go. Yes. And, uh, um, many of them are asking questions. Keep on asking questions, sir. Sorry. Uh, sir, Jackson, sir, please. Uh... Yeah. Now, you can ask Merlin, sir, to no, hand over the insert. Hello. <laughs> Yes, yes, ma'am, tell me. Okay. Thank you, sir. As a token of appreciation, we are sharing the certificate with you, sir. Uh, as a token of appreciation, we are sharing the certificate to you, sir. Kindly accept it, sir. On behalf of everyone here today, I thank you once again, sir. Thank you so much for inviting me. Thank you for the certificate. And thank you for allowing me to learn your yoga and be a guest in your country. I'm so happy to, that India is alive and well and yogic practices are alive and well. And I get to practice this through my entire life and share whatever small insights that I have around yoga with you. So I feel privileged to be here and thank you for the cert certificate of recognition. Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you, Dr. Uh, uh, Merlin, sir, for uh, pr presenting the certificate. And thank you, Dr. Brain, uh, uh, Siddhanta and Ingrid, for your uh, wonderful and informative session. Uh, it is an eye opening session for everyone. Participants all, all are given a nice message to us uh, about your session, sir. This is a very excellent session. Thank you for uh, being with this. Uh, being with us with this uh, special day on uh, yoga day thank you so much sir Inge, sir thank you so much Pl my pleasure my pleasure thank you sir thank you okay uh, now over to now over to dr ponan barasu sir thank you Uh, yes, ma'am. Just uh, is on the way. Just will uh, all the participants kindly please uh, excuse. Uh, just wait for a minute. Uh, that uh, because since uh, we made a little change in that uh, session, so Dr. Yuva Dayalan is uh, things I called. He is going to come and join. Please uh, wait for a while. Then even then you can uh, request uh, Dr. Brain to. Go for a question and answer session a little more, and we have some more questions also. 
you can clarify that you yes. can uh, sir brain sir sir brain sir dr brain are you there can you hear he left from the meeting sir no he is there brain so it is there he is there actually just please call him and uh, as per the request sir as per the he is there sir is that still is there in the meeting sir i think he muted his himself brain sir play brain sir you can hear me Brian, sir. Uh, otherwise, we can have two, three minutes uh, break. Okay. Yes, sir. Five. We'll have a. Yes, sir. I, I, I'm here. I'm here. Sanbu, sir, please, sir. Komla, madam. Ma'am, you are yes, come. I must try. I. Ma'am, can you try it? Come. Let me see. No, ma'am. We have to tell because he has communicated to you. No, that's what I'm. Yes, I'll to. I'll speak him. Yeah, I was trying. He said he'll come on the line, but uh, still I'm waiting for him. Yeah. He said that he has asked for some more time, so. Is it eleven fifty? Sir, we will come. That uh, is your strength. Yeah, yeah. Do one thing, ma'am. As ma principal, sir, we will give up two three minutes. Uh, in the chat box. Out of course, yes, in the chat box. Ask the participant to. Please unmute, ma'am. Sir, I will just share a little, and I'll speak on it till Yuvraj joins. Yeah. or somebody can ask some questions how is that jackson sir a lot of in the chat if you can answer the okay yes Thank i should go with it there is one question can can you sign up for some time somebody is asking uh, sir can you read out some questions sir Uh, one sec, ma'am. Ma sorry for the disturbance, Jodi ma'am. Just one yeah. sec. Uh, sorry for the interruption. Yeah. Uh, after my instruction, you can continue. Uh, all the participants, please don't go out because while uh, going out and again coming, it may be a little difficult because more than three fifty to four hundred uh, thing entry is there. So you may not get uh, admit immediately. So please kindly bear and what the ma'am is going to say for uh, another matter of five ten minutes. Definitely he come back and we will continue the session. This is what I want to say. uh so please don't go out and come back thank you ma'am you can continue. so jackson sir can you please read out the question sir anything okay madam one question from the uh, dr surprise raidu Yeah. that yoga is interlinked with the chakras in our human body yes can i share can i share share can i share this slide please yeah yes as questioned you know the question, um, chakras are being linked with the human body and uh, um, i would rather say that uh, chakras basically just like center of gravity point center of gravity points in our body you can see yeah so uh, just like that it is an imaginary point in our body which touches uh, at the back and at the back you can see the peripheral veins are there so basically uh, all our nerves gets activated and you can take away the blocks yeah take away the blocks in your body so um if you see this chakra yeah right so uh, this is called as kundalini shakti if you could uh, i don't know how many of you have gone to military hospital and seen in the army hospital you can see patanjali's photo uh, okay and it has been wrapped with the snake 
and there is a serp's head is coming on the top so it says that you get, the doctors need to have the power like a snake when they look at the patient you know they should have the vibration of what kind of disease the patient is suffering from in the same manner the by doing yoga you can activate your chakras in your body and uh, it is definitely linked with the um, mind and the body brain and the body otherwise uh, one cannot be stable so as i said you know stiram sukham asanam whichever posture you take up you know if you are able to find yourself comfortable that is uh, if you sit on the nail you should feel comfortable if you are sitting on eggs you should feel comfortable if you are sitting on the edge of the tip of the chair you should feel comfortable that means that is called as stiram sukham asanam so while you perform asana you can activate these chakras of the body and uh, if you feel happy you know you are activating the uh, love hormone that is anaharata chakra so if you are able to digest the food uh, and go then you can you can obviously get on to it right and uh, there are certain uh, asana uh, muladhara chakra uh, to sahasthara chakra you attain the power of healing the individual and when you see the nadi is just like center of gravity you can see the center points of each joints are being kept mama tayari karun de mama so what happens is you can uh, see the indra nadi vigna nadi and the sushma nadi the two nadis are there and when the nadi konta ghala jay sa hey panta agi jagi 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 rahul ji dhanyawad right so you see the nadi the ingla nadi pingla nadi and the smushma nadi the right side of our body the left side even in uh, biomechanics you can see the right side posterior anterior the central all these are the scientific you know it's a science completely and it activates your nadi and keeps your body sukshma you know controlled you can have so the right side the left side in the whole body is under the control definitely you can activate connect the chakras and your human body yes Yes, sir. Jackson, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, it was a wonderful explanation about the chakras and the uh, uh, the nervous system, which is connected with our body and mind, which is really good. Uh, ma'am, we can give a five minutes rest uh, uh, for the participant. Uh, don't please, participant, please don't leave the session. Just uh, stay for a five minutes uh, uh, till our uh, second session uh, speaker will join. Uh, soon uh, we will wait for that okay thank you jyoti ma'am go on ma'am one more time just repeat the things what he said please repeat so that because yeah. now i i, I connected uh, yuraj he will take another 10 minutes it's in because uh, he is uh, presenting in the savita university he will be finishing okay. up faster and he will join by uh, another 5 10 minutes so as something yeah thanks the yeah, participant please wait and take a 5 minutes rest and they will join within 10 minutes uh, we will continue the session with soon and uh, if you have any uh, work and you can go to and then you can come back soon within 10 uh, to 5 uh, to 10 minutes uh, we have a very wonderful session second session uh, which is uh, by uh, dr eva dayalan uh, from uh, hong kong he will give you a uh, uh, many idea regarding uh, sports uh, especially badminton and uh, Yeah, yoga. How it uh, interlink with how it helps uh, to promote your performance and everything. He will give you a wonderful session about those things. Please wait and uh, uh, hear uh, about his uh, talk. We are yeah, feed, feedback cam. So feedback cam. We will send you a second session. End of the second session. Please wait that and uh, you will get from the chat box and as well as for a uh, YouTube, you will get uh, uh, feedback. Um, not immediately for. from the sub session we you will get from the second session okay uh, you will get the feedback form so once you fill the feedback then form after that only we will send the uh, certificate e certificate uh, you have to uh, attend both the session first session as well as the second okay. session first session you have to attend okay thank you uh, participant hope you all uh, joining with us uh, in the special day uh, you're all enjoying the enjoyed the first session i i i heard from you all uh, we, from the chat box also i heard it, i have seen many questions uh, valuable Madam, questions and uh, yes when will uh, we start the second session uh, within 5 uh, 10 minutes we will start sir please wait 
So okay, ma'am. Thank one. you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. So if you want to fill the feedback form, you will not get the certificate and we will check your timing also to get the certificate from, first, uh, uh, from the uh, inaugural to uh, till the end of uh, second session. We will check all the timings and after that we will send the certificates uh, and you stay connected with us uh, in this uh, uh, virtual conference uh, you to get the certificate and uh, learn more things about the yoga and sports, somatic yoga. Sir, and sir, please check with the uh, Evraj uh, sir. Yeah, yes, just now I checked and the uh, finance will be. And uh, okay. sir, demonstration uh, also is going to do, it seems like. So okay. they will have a wonderful session that, uh, uh, dear participants, that uh, definitely he is a very interesting personality. And he has running a center in uh, Hong Kong, Thailand, the USA. And more than that, in India, most uh, very, very soon, we are going to hear that lot of uh, international athletes, players going to... Um, Produced because in Uti they tie up with the foreign uh, abroad uh, tutors, uh, high altitude training center. They are put up uh, more than the crores worth, and uh, it is going to start very soon. So, so such a uh, nice person that he is achieved in ball bat uh, badminton, as well as uh, he is a manufacturer of even the equipments, and more than that. Uh, uh, surface according to surface shoes and uh, so lot more you can ask to him that he is a uh, he is a uh, even the yoga trainer for uh, pv sindhu and srikanth uh, current indian players and he used to uh, visit uh, monthly once to monthly twice uh, to hyderabad till now to give a training so it will be a very fantastic session uh, so unexpectedly due to uh, the uh, inaugural function uh, little delay so that he since he's committed because today he has a four program so he committed and he said definitely he'll come because he given the first priority to YMCA only uh, because he used to come whenever he come to India he used to come to YMCA college for training and uh, he along with him uh, we have conducted Guinness World Record World uh, Yoga Festival he is a part of it and we have done and our uh, YMCA boys also participated so a lot more knowledge you can get it from him is is very quickly just we are going to start the session please be uh, kindly patiently be for uh, be for a while thank you My brother, ma'am, kindly check whether it is a thing. Sir, tell me, sir. Anbu, sir. Anbu, sir. Ma'am, is ah, it yeah. Yeah, yeah, just check out that you are Dayalan. In the name you are, you will come. Wait, 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 sir. Yes, please, can you check? No, no, sir, not at No, okay, okay. Again, I'll try. Now. One name is Nair, Yuvaraj. 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 No, he's a Ah, you are. You are not joined, ma'am, sir. Okay. Just say again, I'll check. Uh, no, no, he has not joined.
Sandhu sir can hear me? Yeah, tell me, ma'am. Come on, ma'am. Check with the sir. Yeah, yeah, he said he will come. That's why I'm trying again. பர்சன் <laughs> 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 hope everyone connecting with the virtual conference uh, uh, stay with us and uh, uh we had some disturbances so mute everybody from our uh, technical side technical management side okay thank you okay okay sir okay I love it.
your participant please wait a uh, few more minutes uh, our uh, resource person is uh, coming soon and he's having a, another uh, program also he will finish it soon and he will join with us soon and uh, i hope everybody with uh, connecting with us please wait Many of them are asking about the feedback form. We will send you a, a end of the second session, and you can uh, fill the form, and then you can get the uh, uh, e-certificate uh, from uh, both the uh, Zoom link as well as uh, we will send it to the YouTube uh, link, YouTube channel. second session is going to be a wonderful session uh, for everyone uh, for especially physical education and yoga field uh, participants it will be i opening session and uh, it will give more uh, information related to your the performance and uh, how it will help to improve the performance and everything hope you all enjoy and you will learn more about the second session please wait for the resource person i hope every, uh, everybody will happens soon everything will happen soon Uh, some um, uh, some participant asking about uh, do you need to give your number or a designation in chat box you no need to send your uh, number or designation name to the chat box you can fill in the feedback form the in feedback form we are asking about all your uh, information uh, to fill the certificate and everything so there you can fill everything now uh, in chat box you no need to fill or no need to send anything uh, regarding your uh, name or uh, your designation or phone number you can send the feedback regarding uh, the sessions but no need to send your email thank you and some uh, participant asked about the can we sign off no need to sign up you just stay with the I, if you want you can sign up and you can come again uh, you can join again we will admit you it's not issue and uh, don't forget to join soon we will we are still waiting for the resource person
many of them given feedback regarding uh, what the uh, first session it was a wonderful uh, session and many of them are asking the questions questions are also very nice questions which are very really, uh, new and uh, helpful for uh, other participants also so uh, stay on uh, stay connect with us any asking about the feedback we will send you soon uh, uh, after the i mean uh, end of the uh, second session please wait and uh, uh, listen the second session you will learn more and uh, no need to send your phone numbers or uh, your uh, uh, name or your designation uh, everything you can fill it in the feedback form directly so now you no need to send anything to your uh, to the chat box Anbu sir, you can hear me. Anbu sir. Yes, ma'am. I'm trying for him. Just you didn't pick the phone. Just uh, thing. I, I think. Okay. Please take all other things already. Uh, other. Uh... So during the uh, second session, please mute your audio and uh, don't interrupt uh, while uh, uh, doing the second session. It will be disturb uh, disturbing for uh, the uh, speaker as well as other audience also. If they cannot uh, listen what they are say, what the first person is going to deliver. Okay, please mute your audio before uh, starting the session. This is my humble request for all the participation participant uh, to mute your uh, audio. once you join the meeting uh, you mute your audio as well as video it will be disturbing for uh, other people also
Mugil sir? Sir Mamelda ma'am, you can hear me. Yes, yes, tell me, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. And the search, check, check with the reserve for the reserve for the search. Okay, participants will be awaiting for the resource person. Uh, stay connect with us. Uh, we will start soon. He's a very busy person and he's having a, a more uh, a conference and a meeting. Mamalda, ma'am, uh, screen. Mamalda, ma'am, you can hear me. Yes, yes, ma'am, tell me. Uh, screen or uh, display, I took, ma'am, like, uh, please move this window away from the shared yeah. application. Yeah, one box is displaying, um, yellow color box, yes. So otherwise, I'll share the screen. Yes, ma'am, I share the screen, ma'am. Is it fine? Ma'am, Amelda, ma'am, is it okay for you now? Yeah, ma'am, yeah, fine. Yeah, okay. Okay. And please check with Anbu, sir, ma'am. Please call him and uh, know about it. The resource person. Okay.
Mohammad Riaz, you have asked, uh, you have raised your hand, right? Do you have any question regarding the session or uh, conference? Yes, you can ask me now. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah. And sir? Yeah, yeah, yes. He's, he's coming in. Uh, maybe the ma'am check. Ma'am, he's yes, coming in. Sir, he is coming, sir. Maybe the ma'am? Sir, I'll take care, sir. It's yeah. I'll take care. Yes, tell me, Anbu, sir. Yeah, he is coming in the entry. Just give a thing. He said if session is over immediately, he is coming in. He is coming in the link, it seems. Sorry for little delay, participants. Uh, yes, he is going to uh, very soon. He is going to come in the link. He is completed the session. He is coming. Sir, check with the Jodi ma'am and uh, two resource persons, sir. Jodi ma'am is there, I think. Yes, sir. Okay. I'll call it.
மேடம் வெயிட்டிங் ரூம்ல இருக்காரு பாருங்க எஸ் एडमिटेड सर हां हां यस ही हैज जॉइंड हां सर्विस सर डियर डियर डेलीगेट्स सॉरी फॉर द फॉर द इनकन्वीनियंस वी नो वेरी वेल टुडे इज इंटरनेशनल योगा डे एवरी एक्सपर्ट हैज सम अदर प्रोग्राम्स आल्सो सो ही ही हैज ऑलरेडी जॉइंड थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर योर पेशेंस Uh, good afternoon all uh, so good afternoon sir uh, principal sir uh, nice meeting you in zoom after a long time uh, thanks for inviting me uh, for this conference and everything and my sincere apology for like uh, coming late because i was in like savita college uh, just like finished the savita college webinar and no issue no issue like... no issue don't no need to say all the things you are very expert very eminent person so you can have you can start okay have so, taken concern from uh, our uh, organizing secretaries Yes. Sure, sir. Sure, sir. Yes, sure, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, you have a few seconds. Uh, now, yes. may I call upon Dr. Jodi Dayanand, Associate Professor, Chairperson for this for, uh, second session, uh, to give introduction about Dr. Yuva Dayanand and start the session. Madam, please. Thank you, sir. Jodi, ma'am. Sir, Jodi, ma'am is not here. okay right ah uh, yes myself can all right dr yuva dayalan is the right okay yes he is a eminent personality he is our indian origin very well that uh, he is a chennai based uh, person our own local guy we can say that he is a former indian badminton player more than that he is very well known to the yoga world that he has organized successfully uh, seven world yoga festival due to this lockdown good and able to make it last year and previous year that is 1920 and 2021 uh, more than that he is he has been trained pv sindhu and shrikant our indian badminton players still he has a good connection with gobichand coach and uh, more than that that he is running a own uh, yoga training center and yoga institute in hong kong thailand us and now uh, very well we can expect that he will start the yoga institution in india also he was uh, moving around for that and uh, he is very good eminent personality not only see as is the best example he is a very good sportsman and he is imagine that he is achieved up to indian level and he got Ex, uh, exhibit his talent in yogic way also that he is uh, tremendously he is uh, is uh, most of the uh, shishyas from hong kong thailand us kenya and all over the world so very proud to welcome more than that our uh, we can say like our alumni that whenever he's come to india that he will visit uh, ymc and he used to do the practice in our ymc college so that much very close relation to our institution really very heartful uh, uh, welcome to you dr yuva dayalan please carry on your session please sir uh ellarku vanakkam uh, good afternoon and uh, thank you for uh, ymca uh, uh, principal correspondent uh, and all the uh, teachers especially like anbar sir uh, and uh, all the other faculties for like inviting me for uh, this conference uh, so anbar sir has just like, told a uh, lot about me and like everything so it's like only one thing i didn't just like do that i didn't study in ymca uh, in my childhood uh, not in my childhood in my teenage uh, teenage my all trainings and like almost i just there in ymca from like morning to almost like afternoon dr kandan was only like training me when i was playing for the indian team and like i get uh, tips and like uh, everything from like all the teachers over there especially like anbar sir over so there like uh, the previous principals and like everyone everyone is like uh, really really they are just like uh, uh given me a lot of support and they have just like gone out of the way to just like helping me in like training and like just like uh, getting tips and like i have just like also taught a lot of ymca students and like everything so it's just like uh, i'm just like like your alumni so uh, thanks for the introduction and like everything sir thanks for it and like everything so every time when we just like do a yoga championships and like guinness world records uh, i think like uh, in ymca itself like uh, we have like more than 500 guinness world record holders in like last uh, three events and like everything and thanks for principal for like coming for the event and like everything also like couple of times in the beach 
for it and like everything. So I don't want to take much of your time. So quickly, we are going to be just like getting inside what we just like call it as sports and like yoga, where I'm just like uh, specialized in it and like everything. So how it, how especially like the YMCA uh, physical education students, the future physical directors, you can be just like using yoga for sports and how it can be just like getting it out. So quickly, I'm going to be just like uh, uh, telling you like what is yoga, like uh, because everyone would have just like studied in a lot of uh, notes, internets and like everything. But here, like it's going to be a quick recap, like I'm going to be telling it what is yoga and how you can be just like using it for like sport. So when you're going to be just like taking it like yoga, there's eight full parts. It is uh, eight full parts is known as yoga. That is like eight pillars. We call it as like yamam, niyamam, asanam, pranayama, pratiharam, dharanam, dhyanam, samadhi. Don't try to just like worry about all those names and like everything. It is just uh, normal yogic names. The first four, you need to be just like understanding it of what we just like call it as yamam and like niyamam. So what is like EMM and like niyamam? EMM, niyamam is like going to be a normal sanskar or like the daily things like what we are going to be practicing in our daily life. Especially when we are just like born in India, we are blessed that like already the EMM name is like with us and like everything. The EMM name is nothing, nothing but you just like wake up in the morning, you need to be just like taking shower, you need to be just like clean yourself when you're going to be sitting, your spine need to be just straight. And when you're going to be just like talking with your elders, try to be just like, polite and try to just like look into their eyes and just like talk. You should not be just like uh, lying to anyone. You should be like, uh, uh, don't take non which is like, which is like it, that, just keep that separately. Like it's, it, it does not take suits much for the sportsman that we will just like talk later. So these are all the normal sanskars, like what we just like have it in our daily life that is known as EMM and like niyamam. Okay, then getting on with asana. So what is asana? There is 84 lakhs asanas in Yoga. Okay, we have 84 lakhs asanas, or like 84 million koshas are there. If you ask me, like everyone is practicing like all those 84 lakhs asanas every day, I'll be saying that no. Okay, so they call it as like there's 84 lakhs living things and non living things exist in this universe, and all those living things and non living things has a name, and this name is also is being resembled in asana. We'll just like say some of the, we'll see some of the names in that asanas and like everything. For example, when you're going to be just thinking of Pachimotasan, Pachi means it's going to be a bird's face posture. When you're going to be taking the Vrikshasan, Vriksha means it is going to be a tree posture. Mayurasan, Mayur means it's going to be a peacock posture. Simhasan, it is going to be a lion posture. When you're going to be just Ardha Machendrasan, Ardha Machendra means it like looks like a half fish posture. Bakkasan, Bakkasan means it's going to be like a crane. So like each and every posture has a name and that name has a meaning and we also have a scientific explanation for it and like everything. Okay, so how to do this posture or like why to do this posture, like why I should do yoga, why I should not do other exercises, what does yoga bring to me, what to, uh, how, how the speciality from like whatever like class I am going to be just like taking let it be like i'm going to be just like taking anaerobic and aerobic and anaerobic exercise i'm working on the gym and like everything but like still like why i should just do yoga what does it brings to me so this is a a good question like what it can be just like having it off and it's a uh, it is not a million dollar question and all it can be just like explained in a very simple terms and like everything for example like in yoga we just like call it as like chakras in 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 the allopathic ways okay or in the scientific way we just like call it as glands so what happens is like in the yogic aspect or the, in the astrophysic aspect, like we just like try to activate the chakras. In the same thing, like on the uh, allopathical aspect, we try to just like activate our glands need to be functioning properly. What we believe in yoga is like when you're going to be activating your chakras, the glands automatically function. So it might be a little confusing. I'll try to just like make it like more easier and like clearer. There is like seven chakras in your body and there are seven important glands in your body. Starting from your base of your spine, we call it as like the basic chakra or that is known as the Muladhara chakra. This chakra is related with your adrenal glands. So what does the adrenal glands do? Of being a, being a physical education uh, a student, you'll be just like knowing about it. The adrenal, this is very, very important for a sportsman to just like for, uh, for, uh, the function of this gland. Okay. Adrenal gland, it just like helps support adrenal in your blood. So it is going to be a fight or flight principle. When you are going to be in an event, when you're going to be getting stressed out, when you're going to be just getting tense, tensed, how much adrenal, adrenaline is going to be just like poured in your blood depends that decides whether you're going to be a champion or whether you're going to be surrendering in that game. 
and like everything and how you are going to be just like handling that adrenal flow in your body just like helps you to just like become a champion so it is a fight or flight principle or it can be making it like more simpler when you are going to be seeing a snake in a room whether you will be just like fighting with the snake you will be trying to just like kill the snake or you will try to just like escape out and run so the amount of adrenaline which is like pouring in your blood helps you to decide whether you are going to be just like fighting or whether you are going to be just like escaping out of the situation now getting on with like four feet just above the uh, the coccyx bone when you just like come out that is like four fingers when you are going to be just like coming it out that is going to be the sex chakra or the swadhisthana chakra which just like activates your bone glands that just like relates with your bone glands okay which just like takes care of all the sexual activities and like everything and just like getting it off just in between the floating ribs what we just like call it as solar plexus chakra the solar plexus chakra is directly related with your pancreas so what does this pancreas does so <coughs> sorry what does this pancreas does when the pancreas is not going to be just like functioning properly you won't be just like getting insulin when insulin problem is just like there that is a whole problem now you can be seeing in all over india which is going to be diabetics okay so when insulin flow is not going to be just like proper you'll be just like getting diabetes in your body so like the flow of insulin or the amount of insulin which need to be just like coming on to your blood stream is just been defined by the uh, your pancreas that is later your solar plexus and like especially for a sports fan you should be knowing if you're going to be a basketball player if someone is going to be just like giving a small punch or they're going to be just like needing you in your solar plexus definitely to just like stand straight it is going to be taking you four to five minutes so that is a very very important point where you store all your emotions okay in the solar plexus just coming it off like straight to your sternum bone just straight to the sternum bone from the sternum bone if you just see straight you have your heart which is which is controlled by the thymus gland in the thymus gland like you can be just like seeing it off the chakra which is like related to the anahata chakra is going to be a heart chakra okay the heart chakra normally it just like controls the thymus gland so all the functions of the heart is being just like controlled by the thymus glands getting on with your throat what we just like call it as a throat chakra the throat chakra or the vishuddhi chakra which just like controls your thyroid and parathyroid glands okay the thyroid and parathyroid glands controls the growth hormone in your body okay getting on with your in between your eyes which is known as the arjuna chakra the arjuna chakra normally it is known as the third eye like where like intuition especially in like sports and like everything you should be like trying to just like see like okay when you just like deliver a ball in such a way like how you are going to be just like getting it back and like how you are going to be just like playing and like everything what we just like call it as the intuition you need to be just like really reading the opponent you should be just like knowing what is the pattern and like everything so for that like a very much useful is going to be the arjuna chakra which is related with your pituitary gland okay it just like gives you the thing how it is and like uh, everything we just like goes off and then like we just like go to the crown of the head which is going to be like the crown chakra which is related with your pineal gland the pineal gland is going to be which helps you to just like work on the gray matter and also it just like helps you to connect to the universe that is known as the crown chakra okay so these are the seven chakras according to yogic aspect we believe that and like it is proven that like when the seven chakras are going to be activated automatically the seven glands in your body will be just getting activated especially during this pandemic time and like everything like if you know how to just like activate all the seven glands then like your immunity system in the body will be automatically getting activated once the immunity system goes up normally the strength and the reflex of the body also just like gets much more faster and like easier okay. so this is the one of the reason we need to just practice yoga nothing else just for this okay and how it will be just like useful in the sports and like everything you will just like see it off now the next part is going to be the pranayama okay what is pranayama so prana is going to be the life force prana that is going to be the breath and like everything yamam is just like going to be like the doing it off so prana yamam so pranayama is going to be the breathing technique so what does this breathing technique do every day i am just like breathing in and out and like everything then like what is going to be just like doing it for me like it is going to be just like there so you can just like see it off especially like when you are going to be just like getting it off with the pranayama there is different type of pranayama which we can be just like doing it off there are certain pranayamas to just like heat up your body there are pranayamas to just cool down your body there are certain 
comes to increase your lung capacity there are certain pranayamas helps you to just like get in fire a vibrant mode and relaxation mode and like everything only this a pranayama will be just like doing means no okay pranayama like the we our body need a lot of oxygen to survive and like everything and you need to be understanding like when you are going to be a sportsman or when you are going to be training a sportsman normally the brain is a very very important organ like which plays a lot of key position in sport like how you are going to how you are thinking how you are going to be just like moving it especially in like a stressful situation or it's going to be in a tense situation like you can just like see a lot of game changes they will be just like always cool they will be just like always watchful during a situation and they only change the games and like everything so for this there should be a lot of oxygen supply in your body and like you know that our brain as i was telling you our brain needs a lot of oxygen the major food of our brain is a very very selfish organ in our body the major food for the brain is going to be the high level of oxygen and high level of protein these are the only two things what we need for a brain for us to pump in uh, sorry for us to just like work faster and to just like take decisions much more quicker so the oxygen supply is like very much needed for it and like everything so for this like there is no other go we need to just like do pranayama in pra- when you are going to be doing pranayama automatically the lung capacity okay the volume of the lung will be just like getting increased so in this like when the prana when you are going to be doing prana and breathing techniques not only the lung capacity increase the more amount of oxygen it is going to be just like getting inside it automatically the blood carries oxygen throughout your body so what happens is like automatically your body is going to be just like getting nourished enriched with like oxygenated blood so your speed reflex power is going to be just like almost 3 to 4 times it is going to be just getting increased so this asana and pranayama plays a very very important role in sport okay So this four okay yamam niyamam asanam pranayamam only this four we can be training you let us be so whatever so called yoga masters whoever it may be like however big they can be and like everything only we can be just like training you this the balance four pratiharam dharanam dhyanam samadhi this four is a by product of the first four this four is a by product of the first four when you are going to be just like taking it off pratiharam i am going to be quickly just like going it off and we'll be just like seeing about sports yoga a little bit when you are going to be just like taking about like the pratiharam pratiharam is going to be let go so letting go all your like five senses for example okay why we should be just like uh we should be just like letting go if you are going to be just like asking me this for i am going to be sitting and just doing a meditation say for example i am going to be sitting and doing a meditation and like i am not like letting going letting going my things when i'm going to be doing a meditation suddenly i'm going to be just like trying to hear some noise from outside someone is just like talking automatically my ears will be just like going over there so then i'm not letting go i'm not in a pratihara mode or like someone is just like cooking some tasty food from the next door and i'm trying to just like get it to my nose and automatically my taste buds just like goes to my abdomen and just like tries to just like gets my abdomen buds to just like feel me hungry so i'm not like i am not like let go my things and like when i'm going to be just like seeing beautiful things say like I, i'm just walking in a road and i'm just like going to be seeing a prada watch or a gucci watch or i'm going to be just seeing a, a ferrari car so i want this so then like i'm not in a yogic mode okay so that's the reason i told you first four when you're going to be practicing it properly the next four is a by product of it and like everything so letting go is known as pratihara then like we call it as dharana dharana is going to be like focus once you let go only i can just like sit down and just like focus in any work let it be my work let it be like a meditation or let it be a single point or like anything like i need to be just like trying to just like focus on it the one point that is known as pratihara then like dhyana dhyana is known as a meditation as i just telling it off okay and the last one is going to be samadhi samadhi in the samadhi stage what we just like say it off is like our atma that is like our soul gets out from our body and then like it just like laughs at us saying that like deep when you are you are just like keeping me inside and you don't allow me to do anything for example like let it be like uh, i'm i'm like yuva dayalan what are yuva dayalan will be just like doing yuva dayalan will be first earning for himself or to his family and then the second circle will be is like mother 
and like father and like everything and then like it's going to be the third circle of friends and then like it's going to be the closest community only for this people like you are alone will be just like working but as a yogi when the soul goes out it will be just like saying that the world is like more big and like everything here you can be just like doing a lot of things and like everything but these many years you just like made me to just like work only for a name sake like you are the alone okay so when you need to be just thinking beyond it the bigger circle and like everything so this is what is like known as samadhi so as i told you the last four which is going to be like pratiharam dharanam dhyanam samadhi is a by product of yamam niyamam and asanam the yamam niyamam and asanam only can be just like practice with the physical body the actual body will be just like practicing pratiharam dharanam dhyanam and samadhi okay so this is what is known as yoga in the very simple terms and like everything so any doubt you can just like ask me later so like now how this will be just like helpful like in sports okay what does do this do in a sport i have done a lot of research especially in this aspect and like everything okay when you are going to be taking like calorie most of you would have just like heard about a martial art which is known as calorie and like yoga the faster form of yoga is like known as calorie okay if you just like ask me the postures which is there in like yoga is like there's a lot of similar postures which is like there in like calorie also together okay as i told you the faster form of yoga is calorie so yoga is known as mother of all martial arts and uh, sorry yoga is known as mother of all arts and like calorie is known as mother of all martial arts okay how a posture will be just like similar in like calorie in yoga we will just like try to just like see few postures now and like next one is like what is bat mata like we are going to be taking the racket sports and like yoga like how does a racket sport and like yoga will be just like playing an important role in it and like everything we will try to just like see some postures on top of it and like also for runners and like just like golf quickly i'll just like get on with like three postures for like each one so that like you'll be just like having an understanding how to design a class for a sportsman and how yoga will be just like helpful for it and like everything. So if you want you can be just like there on your mat so that like you can just like practice the asanas with us together so don't worry i'll be just like getting uh, i know that like it's uh, just getting uh, late for like a lot of them so another 15 minutes time we'll just like try to just like wind up okay so if you want you can be just like there on your mat so like try to just like prepare your mat so i'll be just like getting on with it but now So I am going to be like uh, with my uh i am introducing master darunan who is my uh, son with him i will be just like explaining you like how it just like happens and like everything okay when you are going to be taking in like uh, calorie in like calorie you can be like seeing it off there's an offensive and like defensive movements okay uh, say namaste to everyone okay there's an offensive and like defensive movement so in for a defensive movement in a, in a war field you always know that like we'll be just like using a elephant for a defensive movement and we'll be just like using a horse for like offense to just like fight the enemy go on the front and fight the enemy we'll be just like using a horse and to defend we'll be just like using the elephant so like now in calorie like how a elephant posture will be just like coming we call it as an ashwavadi we are yeah, going like she'll be a little bit apart and we just like go up so this is known as a elephant posture you can just like see it off the back is just like getting big and it's going to be a lower stand normally we just like take a lower stand in like a lot of sports especially in like racket sports and like everything together 
So this is known as the Ashwa Vadiva. Okay, sorry, the Gaja Vadiva. In the Gaja Vadiva, like this is on in the Kalari aspect. Now getting on with the yogic aspect. Now how we just like go for the Ashwa Vadiva. Same thing like Lex is going to be a little bit apart. Now try to just like open your toes by the side. And get lower, hands up, and we just like go for a namaskar and just like getting down. So this we call it as like the elephant posture or the ashwa vadiva in like yoga. Okay, and the next one what we just like call it as the ash ashwa ashwa means it's going to be the horse. This is going to be the elephant posture. Now like in kalari we just like call it as the ashwa. We are we in kalari what we just like call it as there is like eight animals. We have like eight animal postures of attacking an opponent, attacking and defending an opponent. Now, next one is just like going to be the Ashwa, the horse pose. Yeah, go ahead. So this is a horse pose. This is a horse pose. Okay, which is just like getting on with calorie. The spine is getting straight and it's a lunge position, like where you just like go down as a horse. Same thing in like yoga, we just like call it as the Veera Bhadrasan. The Veera Bhadrasan, come up. And stretching your hands, getting it lower. So this is Veera Bhadrasan. So this is Veera Bhadrasan, what we just like call it as. Okay. This is in yoga. Normally, like we just like use this posture, a more like racket, racket sport also together. And like we just like go for a lion pose, like which is going to be like in calorie, like what we just like call it as like Simma Vadiva. Okay, lion. Lion in Kaibu. Lower. So this is a lion posture, which just like goes off in like calorie. Like same thing in yoga, we just like go on a lion portion in a different way. Like with the Bhatmasan, go ahead. Hmm. So this is a lion posture, which is just like getting on with yoga together. So you can just like see that there is a lot of postural difference. So, sorry, the postural similarities, which is just like getting with like yoga and the calorie together. Now, same thing like when you're going to be just like taking it off, like with the badminton. So like in badminton, we normally just like have a lower stance when we are going to be when I'm, when I'm lifting the shuttle so normally this is going to be my racket so i just like come on i have just like lifted the shuttle when i lift the shuttle i normally wait for it to just like come whether the opponent is going to be just like hitting me in the back or they're going to be like smashing me so i need to be just like getting lower and just like waiting for the shuttle together so to stabilize this posture in this also like what we just like call it as like the utkatasan in like yoga when you just like take, take it off like the chair posture. So Alex is going to be a little bit apart to your shoulder level. Set your hands in the front. Push your CG back. Bend your knees and go lower. See that the knees is not getting outside your toe line and just like stay lower. So this is known as the Utkatasan. When you're able to just like stabilize this posture for a longer time, automatically I can be just like waiting for the shuttle. I won't be losing my patience. So I'll be just like getting ready whenever However, they're going to be just like hitting it off. I know how to just like control the shuttle. Same thing in tennis. I can be just like standing lower the longer time and like everything so that I can, when I'm going to be mastering my Utkatasana, automatically my quadriceps, my solus, my adductus, abductus, my lower back, my iliosus, like rectus abdomen, every, everything is just like going to be just getting stronger. So this is a defensive portion. When I'm going to be just like getting with an offensive portion, like in like any of the racket sports or like especially like in badminton, normally I try to just like lunge. So for example, I'm going to be just like going to the net for tapping the shuttle. So I'll be lunging, I'll be going like this. So my racket will be just like going this. I'll be just like having a lunge. So if I'm going to be just like mastering the Veerabhadrasan, 
if I'm able to be just like Master Indi Virabhadras and Posture, very well and everything, my posture is going to be stable. So when my posture is going to be like stable, automatically my techniques in the hands will be like much more easier. I can be just like able to just like control the shuttle or the ball very easier. Let it be like table tennis, let it be squash, let it be tennis or badminton. See, the postures are like more or similar. It is going to be the same, which we just like take it off and like everything. And like standing on the toes or tip of the toes, how I can be just like practicing my body. We call it as like the tadasan or talasan. Your heels are going to be together. Make a V and slowly go up. Heels together, make a V, go up. So this is known as tadasan or talasan. You can just like see that. This is standing on the toes together. So you're trying to just like train your body how to stand on your toes for a longer time. So this is in this way, your body, your muscle memories will be just like getting increased and you can be just like getting more adapted to that sport and like everything. Come down slowly. Thank you. And next is like, if you just like go for runner's yoga, like when we are going to be running, like what happened? Running is nothing. It's a very, very simple workout or it's, it's a simple sport but by seeing it from outside. But when you just like go in and just like do it off, you'll be just like knowing like what it is, how it is goes and like everything. It's a shifting of body weight from one leg to another leg. So how you're going to be like shifting the body weight from one leg to other leg. Okay. The transition of shifting the body weight from one leg to another leg should be like smooth, ease, and like your body should be just like feeling it lighter. If you're going to be feeling it heavier, definitely the speed is going to be getting reduced. And like also in running, we know that like there's short distance running and long distance running. Especially like when you're going to be just like getting into the long distance running, you can just like see that the runners need to be just like keeping their hands a longer time like this and they'll be just like running away. The shortening of the muscles in their hands will be just like happening and also cramps to the rotary cuff of their shoulders and like getting onto your hands will be just like happening because I have run a lot of marathons and like everything. And as I told you, like also the calf muscle plays a very important role in running because your calf is known as the second heart. So how I am going to be just like strengthening and like how I am going to be just like stabilizing this movement and like everything. For running, like basically it's like, as I told you, shifting of body weight from like one leg to the other leg. So now what we can be just like doing it off a simple posture, which is known as like brikshas and briksha means the tree. So bend your right leg, take it closer to your perineum. Now from here, by the, you can just like have it in namaskar. So the legs should be just like getting open. Okay, this is a simple tree posture, rickshaws and what we just like call it as. So if you're able to be just like mastering this, automatically your body knows how to transfer the weight from left to right and like everything. Now change the legs. So this is a simple posture, what you can be just like getting it for like runners yoga, first posture. And the second one also with the balancing, you'll be just like come down. Thank you. The second posture is like going to be the Nadrajasana. Nadrajasana is going to be a dancer pose in which like you'll be just like stretching your lower back, your quadriceps, your adductors, and also your iliosis solus. Now stretch your right hand in the front to your shoulder level. Try to hold your toes with your left hand. You can just see it. You should not be throwing your body weight in the front. The hand should be like straight to your shoulder level. And here you can just like see it off. The spine is completely stretched. Your quadricep muscle is like fully stretched. The longer muscle in your body is like completely stretched. And also, as I told you, when you're running, you'll be just like using your lot of your rotatory cuff of your shoulders. So like when you want to just like pump and like everything, your rotatory cuff of the shoulders need to be just like stronger and it also need to be flexible. So your rotatory cuff is fully stretched. Your elbows are stretched. Your forearms are stretched and wrists are stretched. So this is a whole good posture for runners to be just like doing it all. How I can be preventing that? Change the legs. How I can be just like preventing cramps when I'm running and like everything. If you're going to be just like asking me, okay, there is a posture for that also, like what we just like call it as the, come back slowly, the Garudasan. A very, very good posture, which will be just like getting it, which will be just like helping you to just like twist and stretch your IT bands, also pump up your calf muscles and also helps to stretch your forearms, your wrist, and also just like getting on with your 
triceps and biceps. So this one is going to be like a Garudasana. First, the hand position is going to be just like crossing. See, your right hand is going to be crossing your left. And just like twist it off and try to get your palms together. So how you are crossing your hands, same way will be just cross, crossing your legs. Lift your right leg and then like go across your left, twist it, try to just like hold you. The big toes will be just like interlocking to your legs. So I will just like show the posture like in a closer way. You can just like see it off. So this is known as Garudasan. Okay, change. So this posture helps to like stretch, stabilize and strengthen. Okay, all the muscles which is related for the running and also like helps to create a good pelvic stability. Come back slowly. Okay, this is going to be for like runner's yoga. Okay, uh, there is like also like we just like have pushes for golf yoga and like uh, for volleyball and like everything I've designed, but I know that I'm running out of time. So like uh, just with this three, I'll try to just like uh, uh, try to cut short it off. And like what all the pranayamas, what I can be just like doing it off before for warm-ups. See, for warm-ups, we can be just like using Kapalapati and Vastrika pranayamas. So Kapalapati is like nothing but it is going to be like spontaneous breathing out, just only breathing out from your nose. Don't worry about the breathing in. Automatically, the breathing in will be just like happening. So now sit down, you will start. Okay, back and neck is going to be just straight. And like what you'll be just like doing it off. What you can be just like doing it off is like just a spontaneous breathing out. Okay. Now from here, it's going to be like only... This is known as Kapalapati. When you're going to be spontaneously breathing out, it's not only like externally, you're going to be just like dynamically warming up. Internally also, you can be just like warming up more easier. And it can be like, you can be just like ready for the uh, event. And like we call it as uh, Bastrika, which like will be just like breathing in deeper and breathing out is going to be short. So this can be also, this pranayama can be just like also used for warming up. And like, what are the pranayamas I can be just like using when I'm just like playing? Like that time, like when I'm playing, I cannot be coming and sitting down or just doing a pranayama. That time we call it as ujjayi pranayama. The ujjayi pranayama is like, we'll be just like breathing in through your nose. When you're breathing out, try to pressurize your throat. Breathe out slowly. This pranayama helps to hold the oxygen capacity in your lungs so that like your Blood can be just like absorbing it much faster and like you can be just like having your reaction speed and also the thinking ability can be just like getting wider during your sport and like everything. Just giving a try is like nothing wrong. So try using the pranayamas in the sport. And like when I'm going to be just like cooling down my body, like when I, when I want to just like stretch out and like just like cool down, like what is the type of pranayama we just like do it off? That is just like get out of my lactic acid formation from your body. We can be just like using Sheetali and Sheetgari Pranayama. So Sheetgari is going to be like breathing in through your teeth. And breathing out through your nose. Sheetali is going to be breathing in through your tongue. And breathing out through your nose. So this Sheetali and Sheetgari Pranayama helps you to that cool down your body. And what is the next pranayama? I can be just like using it for relaxation and to just like get completely just um, calm down. What is the pranayama? We can be just like doing it off. We can be just like using Shanmugi and like Brahmari pranayama. In that, I'll just like uh, teach you what is Brahmari pranayama. We'll be just breathing in through your nose. And when you're breathing out, try to just like close your ears and produce a humming sound of a bee. So this is called as like Brahmari Pranayama. This also improves vibration in your body and helps to just like calm down and also cool down much more faster and easier. And what are all the, uh, what are all some postures which will be just like helping me to just like get ready. If I'm going to be just like playing in a tournament, 
what posture will be helping me to just like get ready for the tomorrow match or like for the afternoon session match i'll be just like giving you only like two postures which will be just like helping out and like everything okay one is going to be the vajrasan vajrasan or we can call it as supta vajrasan vajrasan supta vajrasan the sitting on your heels okay you can just like sit off legs open panna side la ve when you are able to be just like sitting in this position automatically you can just like sit off you will be just like completely stretching your arch of your toes is fully stretched out and try to just like go down lie down back see when the posture is going to be like this you can just like see it off quadriceps is fully stretched and like your calf muscles is like fully relaxed in this posture and like completely your sole is sole of the feet is fully stretched and like you expand your lungs fully by taking your hands back and the arch in the spine is like automatically just like getting created so that like you just like stretch your iliosis and also your lower back and the other posture like what we can be just like going it off for recovery is going to be the sarvangasan okay so sarva anga asan sarva means it's going to be the whole body okay lie down lie down and try to lift your legs straight up and hold your hands to your lower back and lift your body so you can just like see it off it is going to be straight up from the shoulder level you'll be just like having your toes straight going up which is known as sarva anga asan in this like what happens is like all the blood from your toes to the lower body it will be just like all flowing to your shoulders especially to your heart area and your lung area where the blood can be getting more oxygenated and like when you are doing this posture automatically the thyroid and parathyroid gland automatically get compressed and the growth hormone of the body body will be just like automatically getting activated this is a very very important posture so if you want to just like relax yourself and just like get ready for the next day's competition or the next session competition try to combine like the sarvangasan and the vajrasan supta vajrasan this two will be just like giving you a a lot of difference try it off and just like play a competition will be just like knowing it off because this i have just like trained with all the olympians world champions and like everything as like uh, anwar sasar told 2008 my research paper and like everything when i was just like doing it off i was working as a racket sports trainer for the china badminton team which was all gold in olympics in china 2012 by god's grace i was just like with the indian badminton team where like china won the bronze and 2016 i was again just working with the indian badminton team where like sindhu won silver and also she won the world championship and still i continue with the various teams and everything so this is all like not i'm telling it out from yoga aspects and everything which is proven which they still like the olympians and the world champions they just like practice and they just like do it up hope you all just enjoy the session uh, thanks a lot and like uh, sorry again for just like being a little late just because of the lot of other commitments to the other uh, universities and everything thanks a lot and thanks a lot for all the staffs and like uh, uh, committee members and like uh, correspondent principal chairman of ymc i'll see you all soon thank you thank you very much uh, dr rivadayalan what a wonderful thank session you. you have done a great yogic uh, yoga practice as well as academic value about yoga i missed of i missed of your busy schedule you have spent your valuable time with us and more than that you have demonstrated with your son that is a future yoga yo, yogic you, man uh, thank you you are and a uh, few points just i want to mention that really it's a wonderful session uh, because you have explained because most of the people think about yoga and uh, what is the benefit but really you have mingled with the sports that walking running jogging uh, it's related to yoga uh, to manipulate and uh, increase the energy and uh, that is an example you have created the sportsman also thank you very much now may i call upon uh, co chair person dr glory ma'am uh, to propose sort of thanks for uh, uh, second session Uh, okay thank you thank you thank you very much and indeed it was a wonderful you, session 
a wonderful section by Dr. Yuva Dayalan. He's a very well-known person to us. He has been into college for doing lots of sessions for the students. We are so indeed happy, very, very humble person. We could always see him, uh, though he's on the very top positions, handling various Indian teams, which produce oh, medals, <laughs> but he's still a very, very humble and nice person. Whenever we extend a call from YMCA, he used to come back very cheerfully. Thank you so much. And on behalf of the management, principal, staff, and all the viewers, we would like to thank you for the insightful presentation on activating chakras and activating glands and designing yoga for sportsmen and including the calorie also, which was really fascinating and uh, truly appreciable. Thank you so much. And uh, your, I, I express a very deep sense of appreciation for your inspiring presentation and the surprising revelations on yoga and how it could be done. And that too, the junior, uh, Dr. Yuva was really wonderful, so amazing. And may God richly bless this young kid, you know, who really uh, done whatever his father said, is very obedient and so nice of you to see you together on this platform. God bless you, dear child. And then your ability to present the subject in study, an interesting way made everyone to feel and make it and introduce everyone to do yoga in their regular activity. And thank you so much, sir, for participating and being with us. Thank you thank so you, much. Thank you, madam. <laughs> thank you, madam. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, ma'am, for your uh, really always as usual way that uh, you have given the keynotes and uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Glory, ma'am. Now, over to Mr. Felix. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Ranbu. Uh, Mr. Yuva Dayalan, you have did a very good job now. So your uh, e-certificate is readily available right now, which will be on display probably. Uh, this uh, same will be uh, sent to your mail soon. Thank you very much for your wonderful presentation. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, any doubts or like anything they can just like put it on the box so i can just like answer it later I, we know that like we're running out of time sorry for it if anybody have a doubt you can ask me now sir can uh, sir is ready to answer for a few questions uh, dear participant please if you have any doubt you can ask me only two or three questions is allowed now so please uh, ask the questions fast. Dear participant, do you have any doubt regarding sir's uh, session? I hope everyone should be like uh, hungry now. <laughs> we are uh, just like push the session a lot. It's okay. Like any, uh, you can just like send me a mail or like I'll be always like available in YMCA after this like uh, COVID is just like going to be there. I'll be coming there for training. I'll be more happy to just like interact with everyone. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your wonderful session. Sir. Thank you, Felix, sir, for the certificate uh, felicitation. And thank you, Glory, ma'am, and Anbu, sir. Now I would like to invite... Uh, Dr. Ponan, sir, to deliver the vote of thanks, sir. Yeah, thank you, ma'am. Good afternoon to everybody gathered here for your value, valuable participation and observation. First of all, I would like to thank Almighty God to make this function in a grand success. On behalf of management, correspondent secretary, principal, and faculty members, I would like to propose a word of thanks. Today, Chief Guest, Professor Dr. A.M. Murthy, our legendary person in physical education and former VC of Tamil Nadu Physical Education Sports University for his valuable time spent with us and given excellent notes and about yoga. Thank you, sir. Then I would like to thank my Guru, Professor Dr. Ilangovan, for his valuable presence amidst of his busy schedule. He has given precious quotes and captions rendered to us. And yogic practice benefits. And he has explained very well about the uh, quotes and 
disease management how to avoid by doing yoga he is a role model in yoga profession thank you sir my heartfelt thanks to uh, first session uh, dr brian that uh, is a uh, dr brian sitat engel indian origin settled in ireland as a somatic yogi tutor i miss of his busy schedule he has explained very well and he has shared the innovative method of yogic practice he has introduced to us thank you sir especially polyvangal theory that is deep relaxation method of yogic practice and higher way of yoga uh, yoga by lightening way of doing somatic yoga and the introspection eighth sense of yoga in the internal organs how to relax thank you sir and the second session our resource person dr yuva dayalan thank you very much sir for your valuable uh, presence with a demonstration with your junior kid a uh, junior uh, for the wonderful thought broken yogic demonstration and thank you very much especially simply and effective way of doing yogic experimental way you have explained thank you very much sir my sincere thanks to uh dr ponnan barasu and j komala organizing secretaries to make this function uh, program in a grand manner thank you sir and madam my heartfelt thanks to mrs mebelda ma'am computer madam and mogil sir for their technical support given from 10th april till now thank you madam and sir my sincere and gratitude to our principal dr jaj abraham for his support and guidance for the past 10 days thank you sir we never forget that you are with, without your support we could not make this function in a successful manner thank you sir my respectful and thanks to dr benjamin franklin correspondent secretary for his valuable support and guidance whenever approach him he is very generously he has supported us to conduct this program thank you sir my lovable thanks to mr rajiv jayat administrator and estate manager for his guidance in this program thank you sir my honorable thanks to dr johnson prem kumar dr jackson dr jodi dayand dr gladi kribagha sir dr glory ma'am dr abraham davidson dr merlin danga daniel mr felix for their coordination to succeed in this program without their cooperation we could not be succeed in this uh, thank you sirs and madam my sincere thanks to all the teaching faculties of ymca college of physical education and other university staffs for their valuable participation thank you very much sirs my heartfelt thanks to ymca management committee for providing this opportunity to organize this wonderful international uh, virtual conference in international yoga day thank you thank you sirs and uh, my heartfelt thanks to students invited guest all the participants without your presence this program would not be a successful one my humble pranam to you all last but not least i would like to thank directly indirectly who have supported as supported us to make this function in a grand success thank you very much one and all thank you sir thank you thank you sir i thank to the organ secretaries also for your great effort thank you once again both organ secretaries dr ponnan prasu as well as sir dr j kopra thank you thank you sir thank you sir thank you sir and the uh, regarding the participants just you can now fill up the feed up form uh, feedback form and within 3 days you will get your e certificate thank you thanks to uh, participants and delegates for your active participation from india as well as abroad thank you thank you sir thank you sir once again thank thanks you, to all the participants 
and uh, our faculty members thank you thanks a lot for everyone thank you sir thank you you are sir uh, thank, thank you, you sir thanks a lot everyone